the readings so we can talk about them. <laughs> I send them an email every day. It just takes a little effort, but it's worth it, guys. Dads, duty matters in and out of uniform. So choose to be a father first today. In this week's Marketer's Report, Chris Brandt, Chief Marketing Officer at Chipotle Mexican Grill, weighs in on the power of audio, specifically audio influencers. Audio has been a key component for us. Our consumer is omnichannel, so we need to be omnichannel. We've used audio to reinforce what we're showing on TV, what we're showing in other digital channels. When your priority is driving reach, boy, everybody seems to listen to the radio. I think using the audio influencers has been a huge component for us. Working with iHeart, we were able to really tease out the audio influencers in key markets that were authentic Chipotle fans. And because it's authentic and because they're seen as trusted friends by the customers and the listeners, it's really been an effective strategy. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeart Media is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's red. Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. GMC Sierra Trucks in stock now at OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at winyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Hey. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Friday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day. And we do have a big program for you lined up this afternoon. We'll get you caught up on what's happening out in the world. Double we'll do that at 320 with Woke News. 345 at Sink or Sail. We'll go over Jack's choice for his upcoming Captain's Log Radio program to make sure that it's just right for the boat. If not, we're getting it out of there for sure. Ember's only. Go. We'll turn you on to a nice cigar. Four o'clock hour, primetime kitchen with our buddy Fiaz Carr from the Orlando Weekly. We'll find out what's good to eat in Orlando. Uh, five o'clock hour, it's Rich Tips with our friend Candace Rich. We'll also do trivia there. Tom Segura tickets online. And, of course, we'll end it up with Ross Thoughts and Last Call. Your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim. To my left, my lovely and very dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Hello there. Straight ahead, producer Jack Ratchon. Good afternoon. Comedy alien Ross Padgett. Do you guys remember FUBU? 407-916-1041. <laughs> Text us 77031. Find us easily on social, Instagram, and Facebook. That's at Jim Colbert Show on Twitter. It's just at The Jim Colbert Show. And, of course, all day, every day at jimcolbertlive.com. That's where you can check us out doing our thing right there on YouTube. Click through. Give us a like and a subscribe. We appreciate that. If you want to send a talk back, you can do that as well. Download the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it and send it on down the line. Yeah, yes. you can check out my Hobbit background today. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little Hobbit background. Oh. It's always raining in your backgrounds. It is. I know. And the doors are always round. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like a hobbit. Yeah. Like a hobbit. Like a hobbit. <laughs> if, I can hobbit ever, if I can ever get my studio built, that's one of the things I wanted yeah. is a round door. Oh, if you'll notice, there's something very, uh, if you go to YouTube channel, you see Deborah's background. She chooses another one every day. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh, mock me, Jimmy. <laughs> no, I'm not Let's mocking start off you. start Friday. And I'm not mocking you, but okay. you have to admit, every single one of them, the weather keeps you inside. <laughs> Every one of them. It's 100% a, a, legit point there. A blazing well, snowstorm or a, a horrible rain lightning storm. Yesterday, I tried to put something spring-like on, <laughs> and Jimmy thoroughly said, no, no, put something more like yourself, gloomy and effed up. <laughs> To which I decided that's going to be the name of my memoir, Gloomy and Effed Up. You almost laughed, Pete. When you think about it, doesn't well, that, wouldn't that make any room feel more comfortable if the weather outside was visibly oh, oh, inclement? Yeah. yeah. Can right? I tell you, Deb and I will have in-depth conversations about what it must be like to be in some of these cabins. Or yeah. Yesterday, the fireplace was in an old tree. Yeah. Which oh, is I great. I love that one. Yeah, Ross, I, I concur. You're right. We have more fun in here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> way more fun. Oh, dude, the Hobbit Town, they're over here role playing. <laughs> I believe we found the Oberith Stone. All right, 407 uh, 916 1041. Text us at 77031. You guys have a good day today? Good I, Friday for I, you guys? I sip on the finest of goat milks. Really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a really good. I love that. Because he remembered his phone last night. Yeah, yeah I did that. But it wasn't a stressful day. I exercised. That's and, wild. Know, got out there. And... Usually Jack comes in and you can see the weight of the world on yeah, Jack's no, face. I feel a little lighter today. I must have forgot something. That's nice. I must have <laughs> forgot something. I think that's exactly what happens when you do anything like, you know, physically work out. Yeah. You feel <laughs> literally lighter. You do. Oh, yeah. For the rest of the day. But, oh, but, yeah. but when you have that feeling, though, that Jack has right now, I have that feeling all the time. And it's like this. Oh, Jesus. Left the kid in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like you just you just feel something missing from your oh, daily routine. The the, the anxiety side of Jack oh, yeah, is that yeah. what you're connecting it's with? The worst. Because I thought you were talking about the workout side of Jack. <laughs> no, just any of it. Yeah, but like, so when you work out, do you get that? Like, you feel oh, light? Yeah, yeah, of course you feel great. Look, can I tell you when I take the stairs? I've been taking the stairs since the beginning of the year, and just that little bit of exercise coming up four floors of stairs is I can tell the difference in that. So, I mean, yeah, for sure. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> Four flights of stairs. All right. 407 916 1041. I haven't snickered like that in years. And that's that, great. Felt, that felt good. Still no house guy. Still homeless. Nice. Still homeless. Still have no yeah, idea where I'm going to live. Ooh, wee. You know, I'm going to tell you, this is a really unique space to be in. I, I've not you experienced this. You put yourself this. here. I know that, but we had to make a move. And this, look, I like the pressure of it. I got to be I honest with you. I was going to say, uh, this have to, I, I do not agree but, with. But, I think it's your choice. So what we're, uh, what we're considering yeah, today. I want to know, like, who drove up to your house <laughs> and put a gun up to your head and said, <laughs> you, you better sell it. No. It was me. It was me. The whole time it was me. <laughs> um, Good Lord. But uh, I think we're may if we don't find something in the next couple of weeks we may have to like airbnb a house for like month by month <laughs> yeah uh, until we uh, thing. until we find that i just found that that was a thing today i thought the airbnb thing was specifically for like maybe a week would be the most i didn't realize that like you, you could use it as short-term rental i mean it makes perfectly good sense but i just didn't realize that was the case i, oh, I think yeah. it'd be cheap yeah. though right i, I mean, never depends, had to it depends on your b and b yeah 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 i guess so uh, it's either that or a camper, and I, would, I don't want to do that again. I wouldn't suggest getting a B and B with a pool. No, no, no. You know, it's, unless you really like swimming that much. No, we, it's not that important. I mean, it's too cold still. I mean, you can't get in there. What about that vicious animal you guys have? Oh yeah, all of them. I mean, look, we have. Uh, listen, man, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. You have no idea. It's a mess. <laughs> Uh, every morning, my wife and I look up and uh, we wake up and look at each other and go, "Dude, what are we doing? Uh -huh. what, are we, what are we doing with our lives? Where are we going? Uh -huh. What are yeah. we going to do when we get out of here? We have no place to go uh, and I don't know what the hell's going on." I saw this coming. We, we all did. You did. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All no, did. you did. Get out yes, of here. We did. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, we did. Yeah, we talked. Yes. So unpredictable. Because we talk about it. You <laughs> did this last time. I know. I did the exact same situation. It's not the exact same situation. Okay, well, you're moving. That time was from a. Three or four story townhome into okay, it's just a townhome. Well, I, I just a townhome. Yeah, I and, think it was five stories. But okay. I mean, they had to live. Remember, he had to live in his RV for like a they had to yeah, live yeah. like a month. They I had to live in their RV. I didn't mind it, but I have to tell you that last week was yeah. that last week pulling up to that thing that last week. I was like, oh god, I didn't mind it at all. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you didn't. It was fine. You made I was it good, good with it. I just hope your next place has internet for the first six months you're living. Oh, oh good point. Good point. Mind.
Jim's right. going homeless. For it's like a... an earnest movie. <laughs> Jim goes homeless. Just, uh, uh, on this adventure of Colbert Tales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll find something soon. We'll find it somewhere soon, Jack. Don't you worry. Let's, I'm going to be all right, buddy. Let's make. I, a, know, you, I know this keeps you up at night. <laughs> let's make a show. Make a show out of it? Oh, a there show you go. out of it, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jim's of, video diaries. Uh, be finding a house. Yeah. Jim on yeah. the road. I could do that. We have to go look at like six of them on uh, on Sunday. And then like oh. but the funny thing is, is like we're forcing ourselves, you know how it is. Like oh. when you go to a car lot, it's not like you walk around and go, that'll do. You know, it's got all the stuff I want. You still want to find one that kind of connects with you, right? I mean, that was your thing with your new car, right? And you both of yeah. you guys. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you were looking for something that connects with you. And you get a vibe about Ross is in love with his car. Jack loves his car. Yeah, picky, picky, picky. I don't want to have to come home to a place where I'm like, okay, well, there's some rooms I can live in. It's got AC. I'm good. I'm surprised you feel that way because you are probably going to move out of any place that you like. <laughs> well, who knows? So, buddy. like, you're already you you either move out out of a place that you don't like, and then you still move out of a place that you do like. I love this place, but, you know, again, the hour drive from my wife or work both ways is terrible. But I'm, I'm with Jack, though. Make it a show. Republican goes homeless. Oh, that's God. got hits. <laughs> that's got legs. You think it does? You know, like, hit them with the bookends. But I got to tell you, when I, was in that camp, <laughs> when I was in that campground before, a lot of evidence there's a lot of Republicans in the campground. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> a lot of flags that lead you to believe there's some public uh, Republicans in the old campground. A lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can't. I don't know how many people are sitting around reading Chaucer. You can't have a show uh-huh. called Democrat Goes On List because that's just <laughs> redundant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I feel like I can say it because I am or whatever. All right, 407-916-1041. Uh, text us at 77031. I did see an interesting uh, thing today on CBS News, a little story. And it is kind of interesting, but as of right now, uh, U.S. consumers are spending the most on this than they have in 30 years. Gasoline. Thirty. So for 31 years, Americans have not spent as much money on this thing than they are right now. And it's not gasoline. It's not gasoline. It's Adderall. It's not Adderall, but that is a wonderful guess. Groceries. You, wait, but real quick. Can you find Adderall? <laughs> Email a brother. Dude, because I'm telling you, you can't and, find it. And it's a paradox because the only people who can find Adderall right now are people already on Adderall. <laughs> They're just looking to keep the Adderall going. It makes you better at looking for stuff. Yeah, Deb nailed it. It's groceries. It's food. Um, and it's kind of crazy, to be honest with you, because... They really kind of associate this not only with high food cost at the store, but Americans love for having their food brought to them. I don't get what, this. What percentage yeah. of Americans' um, income do you believe in 2023 or 2022? Do you believe what percentage of every American's income is spent on food? And that doesn't necessarily mean eating at home. It's all the food, all you're eating out, all of the food you eat at home. What percentage of your income is going toward your food bill? 35%. Oh. How much? 35. Right. I was going 30. I'll go 40. No, it's not that. I mean, you, know, you think about that. I mean, do you think about the numbers. I mean, think about your own salary. That That's a really r- gross number, but it, it, it isn't that high. It's 11%. Oh, oh thank goodness. Okay. But, no, but think about game. that. <laughs> think about that, guys. 11% of your total income is going to your food. It's the highest it's been in 30 years. So you do the numbers. Like, you know what you make. Think about 11% of that number, and that's what you're spending on food every year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, right? I guess. But <laughs> this is why I eat leftovers. What do you mean you guess? I mean, if you make like 65 grand a year, you're there, spending like almost $7,000 a year on food. There's got to be a big swing. Because, like, every restaurant that you guys go to, like, Ross says, oh, yeah, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I go to, like, a restaurant once every, uh, you know, five years. <laughs> you don't go to a restaurant every five years. So I think there's got to be a big swing in that 11% number. I think I'm on the low end. Because here's the thing. <laughs> I it Well, you also grocery shop more, right? Yes. yes. All right, then. So there's the swing. I don't really grocery shop. I just ball out at a restaurant. Says, uh, <laughs> I think you're missing the point, big dog. Uh, Still, just that, let him talk about you know, balling out at a restaurant, dog. It says, uh, by the end of 2023, uh, consumers are paying nearly 20% more for the same basket of groceries as they were in 2021. 
Mm. I mean, that's that's yeah. a that's, that's a huge. pretty startling number when you think about it. You said yeah. groceries? Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. The restaurant goer wins again. You know, <laughs> and the other bad part about it, and I believe this was um, Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen who mentioned that, unfortunately, you know, the shrinkflation that we yeah. still got charged mm-hmm. higher prices for. Well, she said, unfortunately, food manufacturers have found that we're willing to pay it. If, right. if we want to eat it, we will pay it. So there's no incentive for them to go back to giving See, us our regular, well, our original amount for the original pay. Now, hopefully that's going to change. There's bounce back on that right now. I saw Good. that same story with Yellen because what's happening now is this. Uh, people are going to Aldi. <laughs> if I'm just going to break it down real easy, yeah. people are starting to leave these high-priced grocery stores, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. You can throw Publix in there, I believe, because of the shopping experience is, is way nicer than, let's say, going to an Aldi yeah, or going you. to somewhere like that. Yeah, I mean, I agree. <laughs> like It's subjective. I get it. But Aldi and stores like that, discount food stores, are seeing a rush from people coming in to buy groceries because when you look at, you know, for every hundred bucks, that you spend in, and I think when Dixie used to do this, they used to actually print it on the receipt. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Like this money, this would have gone this far at Publix, or it would compare the oh, other yeah. grocery stores. Like I, you spent fifty bucks here, yeah. this would have cost you seventy one at Publix. Yeah, 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 so yeah. That's why I had this idea. This was almost a Ross thought. Might still be someday in the near future, but imagine. I feel like we can have professional, mature, baby revolutions. How do you do that? You grab all of America, throw it in a Facebook group. You vote on what price we need to drop. After all that voting, we collectively, as that 300 million Facebook group, don't buy Cheerios for a month. Right? Yeah. What yeah. happens? The yeah. demand plummets. Ha <laughs> well, ha! We just you. dropped a buck off of Cheerios. I just smoked myself into a miracle. <laughs> well, that's basically what's <laughs> happening without the Facebook post. Basically, what's happening is people are just collectively going, we're sick of paying. Like, I got to tell you, it, again, I haven't bought a steak in a while. And I was in Publix the other day, and I don't know about you guys. It's like the Lamborghini dealership for me. I walk over to the beef section of the of the uh, meat aisle right. just to see what they're selling steak for. Just to make sure ha- you can still sweat. Have you looked lately? Have you looked at the price of beef lately? One steak, a New York strip steak, probably about 10 ounces, $21, 21 bucks for one single steak, a New York strip. And, and when they put them on sale, it's not like it even gets better. The price of beef is insane right now. Well, at Publix it is, but incredible, right? Yeah. Uh, 11% of your total income on groceries. these days, the highest in 31 years. All right, 407-916-1041, Deb News. Yeah, wildfires and blizzard warnings have thousands of Americans on high alert. Orlando Health reports four local measles cases and this year's Oscar gift bags <laughs> worth almost a quarter million dollars. Are you serious? Yes, I am. We'll tell you what's in them and more coming up next during Woke News. It's probably just groceries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back in a sec. Dabs News and more of the Jim Colbert Show. Go to Aldi. You text us at 77031 and we say it on the air. Sometimes we might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. There's a whole bunch of commotion on I-4 this afternoon. Authorities are clearing up an accident on the on-ramp from World Drive to I-4 westbound. The left lane is blocked. Bumper-to-bumper traffic on I-4 eastbound before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. Two left lanes are blocked on Florida's Turnpike southbound before I-4. And you can expect your regular pockets of congestion on the Greenway. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James. Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Hey everybody, Jim, hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. It's time to spread the word. That's right. Get the word out about proactive health care. Let's do it this month. Been thinking about my friends and family. Told my mother-in-law, my father-in-law about Life Imaging FLA. Got those guys over there. And my goal is to get 50 friends and family over there for their free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. A $699 value. And the reason why is because we've seen the testimonials live. They've walked up to us at events and said, hey man, just a heads up. Thank you for telling 
telling me about Life Imaging FLA. We, my wife and I went. Turns out my wife had issues. She thought I had issues. She was in surgery seven, ten days later, getting, making sure that her life was going to continue with surgery. That can happen for you if you have those issues or if you've thought maybe in your family there were issues. Get with Life Imaging FLA. Get that free heart scan. Make sure that everything's fine. Couldn't be easier. And by the way, this takes no time at all. You don't have to take off your clothes, no injections, no dyes, and it only takes a few minutes. But what it can do for you is simply amazing. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you got to do. Pick up your cell phone, pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. And while you're there, be sure to ask about their cancer screening as well. You have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeartMedia. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. New South is Florida's factory direct window company. We manufacture, install, and guarantee your windows for life. One company, one call. Our windows blend energy performance with hurricane protection. New South Window, home of your ultimate Florida window. Buy more, save more. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait, I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? I haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got new gym. Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The patented key ingredient is something called Testafin, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again at work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text all to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total T, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text ALL to 321321. That's all to 321321. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like the vinyl experience. Music legends experienced through the authentic sound of vinyl. Rolling Stones, Tom Petty, Pink Floyd, The Police, and so many more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Vinyl Experience, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. It's the Marketer's Report. Today, Capital One's Chief Brand Officer, Mark Mentry, weighs in on building loyalty with customers. Capital One has really worked to create amazing access moments for our customers, anywhere from when we have a live event, there be customer events ahead of that. We will do sound check parties so that only Capital One 
card holders can get access to. And we can't pull that off without the relationship iHeart has with the artists, with venues to create these really exclusive events, festivals that iHeart puts on, gives Capital One the ability to, to create those moments. People are passionate about their favorite artists. And so we try to tap into that together. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeart Media is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Jimmy, get a hold of your boys, Tom and Dan. They got an Airbnb over there in Sanford. Oh, God. They could probably help you out. <laughs> they probably would. They're good fellows. I stayed there. It's a fun Airbnb. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's right near everything you need it to be right near. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing that is kind of weird about the uh, the house thing is this is the first time this has ever happened. I met the uh, buyers today. Uh, they came in for one of the walk-arounds as the inspections were being done, and they're like, uh, you want to sell the furniture? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're they're going to make a bid for, like, everything. They want might... to just, just move in. I've never experienced that before, and I asked my wife. I said, are we cool with that? She goes, and not move it? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Uh, not only that, not have a place to move it to. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> We're kind of excited about that. Oh, we, that's, we, yeah, that's a yeah. great turn of he, events. He there. looked at me and goes, uh, interested in selling any of the other stuff? I was like, well, let me make a call. All right, 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack and Ross right over there. Let's get a check of the news. Here's Deb. And now it's time so for kid. Woke News. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. All right, Woke News brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Hey, I've got an idea. Tomorrow morning while you're doing errands, give him a listen as he's host of the Home Loans Radio Show. Ah, how uh, good does it feel to be in Florida right now? It feels pretty darn good. Well, if it, if it doesn't, it will in just about 30 seconds because if you're out west, you could deal with wildfire, uh, wildfires and blizzard warnings, which have thousands of Americans on high alert. More than half a million people in California and Nevada are under the threat of a blizzard. Officials in Reno, Nevada warned the window for safe travel has closed and warned people to stay where they are. In California, winds gusted over 140 miles per hour in the highest peaks of the Sierra Nevada alongside heavy snow Thursday. Snowfall rates, get this you guys, expected to reach extreme levels of three to five inches an hour. <laughs> From Dang. today through tomorrow, especially along the Sierra Nevada, that prolonged extreme snowfall means 6 to 12 feet could bury parts of the mountains in just a matter of a few days. Meanwhile, wildfires continue to ravage the Texas Panhandle and now parts of Oklahoma, where the Smokehouse Creek fire crept into Oklahoma, burned 30,000 acres there. Uh, as more winds blow in, the largest of the fires, which has been dubbed the Smokehouse Creek Fire, has burnt more than one million acres. That makes it the largest in state history, and two deaths have now been reported. One, an 85-year-old woman found in her home, and another woman found in her car after it was surrounded by the flames. Wow. All of a sudden, a painkiller problem and a bunch of gators don't seem so bad. <laughs> yes, I'm perfectly fine, dude. Uh, they, they said at Yellowstone, yeah. they were like, you got to get out. Uh, it is dangerous to be anywhere near. Some of the video coming from just the roads in Wyoming, it's, as are just people trying to drive down the road. You can't even see the road. It just looks like ghosts of snow blowing across in front of them as it's dead stopped. And when we Horrifying. moved to California, we drove and we drove through the Sierra Nevada, and that's a that's a frightening drive without dealing with 140 mile per hour winds mm -hmm. and 12 feet of snow. Not good if they're evacuating Yellowstone, the place where they have a super volcano, right? Like an, a world. <laughs> Ender Volcano? Uh, at least it's not active, though. Yeah. Uh, closer to home, the Orange <laughs> County Sheriff says he is, quote, unfortunately confident, end quote. I added the unfortunately part that a 13-year-old girl missing since Monday uh, is dead. Sheriff John Mina says video evidence shows the main suspect, Stefan Stearns, throwing what appears to be Soto's backpack and uh, school-issued laptop into a dumpster at a Kissimmee apartment compact, a complex, and police in Kissimmee are now taking over the investigation. Uh, Mina says they believe the 37-year-old, uh, Stefan Stearns, Madeline Soto's mother's boyfriend, killed her and then dumped her body early Monday morning uh, instead of dropping her off at school. 
Stearns is charged with sexual battery but hasn't yet been charged with Soto's murder. He was transferred to the uh, jail in Osceola County earlier today. He did a factory reset on his phone the same day that Maddie went missing, and he has also refused to cooperate with investigators, also refused to make his first appearance before the judge yesterday, um, and has instead just requested a lawyer. Yep. No criminal background. He is not a sex offender. It's insane. He has no criminal history except for a handful of traffic, uh, you know, violations, citations. He's uh, listed as a realtor with an inactive real estate license. There was nothing in this man's background that could have warned Madeline's mother, Jennifer, that there was something for her to look out for. And they'd been together a while. They'd been together for years. It wasn't like this is a newbie guy that she picked up at some bar. No, they've been together for years. In fact, I guess in the arrest affidavit, I heard one of the reporters on Fox 35 mention that the uh, Maddie's mother, Jennifer, had referred to Stefan as Maddie's stepfather. Apparently, they've been together long enough. And, of course, Monday was the day she just turned 13. Wow, man. All right. Uh, here's the ne- this next story is about, um, you know, justice when cases like this happen. Uh, two suspects are facing very serious charges after Polk County police say they were hiding a wanted fugitive. Deputies arrested Davy Alberin's sister and her husband at their Lakeland home less than two weeks ago. The 51-year-old had reportedly been staying at the home since last November. The suspect was featured on America's Most Wanted for child sex crimes in Osceola County. And if you remember, it was his two daughters that helped put him behind oh, bars. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yes. his daughters. They were, they were like, they, there's a famous picture of them clapping and celebrating when he got put behind bars. Yeah, and they say they want him to get the death penalty. These two girls went and staked out motels, right. hotels phone numbers, wherever they thought he was, they were a couple of steps either ahead or behind trying to get this man behind bars. Uh, He's also accused of owing more than $100,000 in child support in Orange County. Oh, yeah. Alberin was on the run for more than a year before he was caught. Wow. All right, more measles cases are being reported here in Central Florida. Orlando Health announced yesterday it has confirmed four cases in the last month. Uh, Three of the four Orlando Health patients are children under the age of two. The Orlando Sentinel reports the other case is in an adult, but no other details were released. The Florida Department of Health had reported 10 measles cases last month. One is in Polk County. The other nine are in Broward County. And even though they reported these four cases, they said there's no evidence of a local spread. So no need for anyone to be concerned. Don't freak. Just letting you know. All right. Those who support a proposed charter amendment in Orange County may want to keep a close eye on Tallahassee today. Okay. House lawmakers are expected expected to discuss a bill that would ban any citizen-led county charter amendment that would overturn existing laws about land development. Currently, the Orange County Charter Review Commission is considering adding the Rural Boundary Amendment to November's ballot. It would limit development in rural areas around Orlando. Uh The state Senate already passed the bill on Wednesday. Orlando State Senator Linda Stewart one of our favorites, Mm -hmm. voted for it. She tells the Orlando Sentinel she doesn't like the part of the bill that affects Orange County, but she believes other parts of the bill, like clean energy, will be good for residents. Mm -hmm. All right, speaking of laws that are good for residents, uh, I'm happy to see this next one. An Osceola County lawmaker's bill to bring relief to mobile homeowners could cross a big hurdle today. House lawmakers in Tallahassee are expected to vote on a bill that makes it easier for those who own mobile homes to challenge lot rent hikes. Remember after yeah. COVID, you had a lot of, you know. Yeah, because the things, what, what what people don't realize is like when you move into a trailer park and you put your, your or you move into one or you have one there, you know, you buy your trailer, you think, oh, I'm set. You know, I bought my trailer for like 50 grand, paid cash, but those lot rents can be like $900. I think the common, the average now is like almost 700 bucks just to park your trailer on a slab of concrete. And a lot of times what we saw after COVID was these, you know, these mobile home parks raising those lot rents. For folks who are on fixed incomes, that meant having to find a whole new place to live. So House Bill 613 would also allow owners to have live-in aids without having to pay more in rent. Again, that would affect those fixed income seniors who may be living in these mobile home parks. Osceola County State Representative Paula Stark sponsored the bill. She tells ABC Action News a companion bill in the state Senate 
could also pass soon. Wow. All right, another bill that we've been watching, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. One of the state's top Republicans expects the governor to veto a bill banning minors from using some social media apps. Uh, Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo said yesterday Governor Ron DeSantis is worried the bill may not be constitutional. House Bill 1 bans those 16 and under from accessing social media. It passed the House and the Senate last week. And DeSantis was given until today to sign it, saying last week. And I'm going to take the next several days to read it over. I'm going to see what the news says first. Because, uh, <laughs> because he, uh, let me leave you on red. Yeah, because yeah, he had only until today. He has to sign it, right. veto it, or it's just going to become law right. even without a signature. Pasadomo says DeSantis and House Speaker Paul Renner have been talking all week long about how to make changes to the bill to have it survive, but she says she expects DeSantis will veto the bill today and lawmakers will then craft some language they feel will pass constitutional muster. All right. Uh, all right. Move aside, Central Florida. I'm a little jealous about this, actually. What's I gotta going be on? honest What's about that. Oh, no. Oh, well, well, you talk to me. Land in South Florida and the Panhandle could soon be set aside for space commerce. The state Senate voted yesterday to designate part of former Homestead Air Force Base in Miami-Dade County and Tyndall Air Force Base up in Bay County in the Panhandle as spaceport territory. Okay. Miami Republican State Senator Alexis uh, Catalude sponsored the bill. She calls Senate Bill 968 a very important step forward, making sure more land in Florida is utilized for space commerce. Similar uh, bill making its way through the House, I say, Screw it. You guys aren't in on the party. Right? That's right. Sorry. This is a Central Florida thing. Yeah, we don't like you. We don't like you. You already have South Beach. That's right. Other so on, make so like a tree and leave. I was going to photosynthesize, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A lot going on this weekend and safety efforts are underway to make sure Daytona Beach Bike Week goes on oh. without a hitch. Oh, yeah. The Florida Department of Transportation is working with the statewide motorcycle safety coalition to protect the more than 500,000 people oh, yeah. expected to attend this year's event. So much coleslaw wrestling. The Ride Smart to Daytona campaign will use education and enforcement tactics to make sure motorists are safe. Bike Week kicked off today, runs through March 10th, and every year, you know, Jimmy, you were talking about it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Motorists have to slow down. You cannot, you cannot tailgate a motorcycle. You cannot. You, you, you have to stay because yeah. you just you just cannot tailgate motorcycles. Right, and then you guys cannot shoot between cars. There apart. you go. <laughs> in traffic, you can't do that. Easy how you talk about my people. Okay, buddy, easy. <laughs> Are you hogging out? <laughs> bye, 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 bye. I wear too much leather, and I play music outside of my motorcycle as if it doesn't affect anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't hear my loud pipes over my loud music. I pretend that enclosed spaces isn't better for sound. <laughs> Central Florida cities are getting ready for spring breakers. Uh, New Smyrna Beach Police Chief Eric Feldman told Fox 35 that the city is going to continue enforcing its year-round 11 p.m. curfew for anyone under 17 years old, Uh but will bring in additional resources. Uh, Like New Smyrna Beach, the city of Cocoa Beach Uh has contracted uh, state agencies for extra help as needed. Officials are expecting the biggest crowds in the third week of this month, but today officially kicks off the season. Douche bag. bag, bag, bag. (laughs) (laughs) That's what that is. A whole bunch of those. Douche bag, 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 bags. Easy how you talk about them hogs there. Yeah, yeah, but I got you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend our hog fans. Yeah, yeah. So what percentage of Floridians do you think will be taking a trip this uh, spring break? Oh, man. Because our guys leave. Don't our guys go to, like, Lake Havasu? Um, 30, 32%, not a percent more. Out, out of the state, Deb? I just expected to take a trip take this a trip. year. Just uh, what percentage a, of Floridians? Spring break, I'm going to go 15%. I'll go tw- I'll go. 21 percent he shot the gap 32 32 <laughs> 32 okay you said what for spring break again i got 21 you got 21 jack's got 15 yeah he's got 32 okay well 80 percent of floridians are expected to take a trip this year 30 <laughs> percent oh, are expected oh. to plan a vacation for spring break uh, that's it's that's too rough. tough it's too far to tell it's too <laughs> tough <laughs> 
Triple A. I, I, I don't have a calculator. Triple A recently released its latest prediction for this year's travel season. Like I said, experts say nearly 30% of residents will plan a vacation for spring break. The Sunshine State is continuing to top the list for spring break destinations, with Orlando taking the overall number one spot. Really? Fort Lauderdale and Miami were named as the most popular cruise ports. Now, this year is different, though, because a lot of the really popular uh, spring break spots, especially in April, are more like Ohio and anywhere along the line of the eclipse. Right, right, right. Are Those are the really big spots for spring break this year. Really? How yeah. wild is that? But still, Orlando, you know, beaches, theme parks, yeah. all the other stuff to do. So if, if the eclipse isn't on your travel plans, but when I heard some travel experts talking about the Midwest as tops for spring break, I went... Wait, what? That's usually where we escape from. Right, exactly. But then with the eclipse, that adds in something else. Crazy. All right, Orlando has a couple new leap year babies. Advent Health Orlando announced the arrival of baby Melanie yesterday. All right. Also, UCF Lake Nona Hospital announced baby Ivy was born at 10 a.m. She weighed six pounds, two ounces. Leap babies are rare. The odds of being one are one in about... Oh, my gosh. I'll go one million. <sighs> There's no way. You said one million? Yeah, one in one, one million. One in one million. Okay, one, a one in a million chance to be born on, on leap year. <clears throat> I'm going to go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Well, I don't know. I'm just taking a guess. That's You're good. Le- Thank you. You do not know anything about leap year well, babies. Well, maybe I don't. <laughs> well, why don't you make a guess, tough guy who go knows ahead, everything Ross. about him? Go He's ahead. Bad. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Let's um, see if you can do mum, 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 my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with um. All right, hold on. Three. So there's four years. Twelve. Yeah. Boom. And then you, I'll go one out of every fifteen hundred. Holy crap! Right on the button. I'll be dead. Da, da, damn. damn. <laughs> God. That wait. Feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> wait for the special ending. Yeah, one I, in about fifteen hundred. Yeah. I can't feel my face. <laughs> Ivy's mom tells Channel 9 they'll celebrate her birthday on February 28th. Very nice. Jack, what was, your, what was your choice going to be? I'm just so thrilled he got it. I don't have to pick one. <laughs> what were you going to say, you ass? I was, yeah, what were you going to say, tough guy? For, my million was so on off. On your million, I was going to go a billion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they started making funny. I'm like, okay, I'm hey, going to cut that down. Back her down. <laughs> Thank you, back, Ross, for getting it. Back her down. <laughs> and finally, the 96th Annual Academy Awards show features gift bags that are worth nearly a quarter million dollars. Unbelievable, man. Celebrity guests who already have all the cash. What the hell do they need this for? But who make their way across the red carpet will receive an Oscar gift bag filled with really valuable items. Okay. According to Distinctive Assets. The bags include a variety of skin care and wellness products, okay. oh, yeah. gourmet popcorn, oh. designer throw pillows, okay. and trips like an all-exclusive stay at a Swiss chalet for up to 10 guests. Good Lord. A seven-night holistic wellness retreat, or seven-day, excuse mm-hmm. me. Yeah, yeah. Holistic wellness retreat and a three-night stay at a private villa in St. Bart's. Damn. The 96th Academy Awards will happen March 10th at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. What percentage of those people do you think actually cash that stuff in? Do you think they take advantage of it? Or give it to family yeah. and friends oh, and give it to gift family. it? Their assistants, all their, the people in their group? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah big yeah. time. Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. I would. I Keep think it. The, I think the bigger <laughs> the names, probably the, the lesser the chance that they'll take advantage yeah. of stuff like that because it's almost like a trade-out for their celebrity for being at those places so they can kind of talk about it. That's what I would think anyway. Yes. Yeah. And so I think the assistants are going to be the big thing. They're going to be really mad if they think it's going to be Seinfeld and it's Seinfeld's makeup the guy. That's gonna be like, <laughs> it's not going to be as poppy. And now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Steph. 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Hang loose. It's time for Sink or Sail and Embers Only. We'll do that next. Get ready to text your vote for Sink or Sail. Coming up next on the Jim Colbert Show. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Friday. And for the rest of today, we are going to be expecting pleasant temperatures with highs approaching the upper 70s and a high of 81 degrees for Orlando. We'll expect the cloud cover to stick around and a couple of very isolated stray light showers can't be rolled out for today. Although scattered showers will be on the increase for this weekend, it won't be a washout, but a few thunderstorms will be possible Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report 
is sponsored by InvisibleFence.com. Going stir crazy with your pet? Invisible Fence brand works in any weather so you can stay warm while your dog gets their energy out in the yard. Their local pet experts work with you to create a customized solution tailored to fit your pet. Learn more about how pets like yours gain independence at InvisibleFence.com. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands and grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, and Napoleon. These guys also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney, which are awesome, by the way. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Hollywood. Not to mention they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repairs or warranty issues. And you can get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine dollars and up. It's Tools Ace Hardware, 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, including their brand new store in Hamlin that just opened, or you can shop Shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-561-2600 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 1-800-561-2600. Vibrant, delicious, fresh, fun. That's the kind of high quality you can expect when you dine at Agave Azul Casina Mexicana. Family owned and operated since 1998. Agave Azul Cocina Mexicana brings a highly stylized restaurant with a high energy vibe and flavorful menu that brings traditional and modern elements to Central Florida. Experience authentic Mexican cuisine at a location near you. Check out our menu at agaveazulcasinamax.com. I'm Chris Walls and I'm a truck driver from Missouri. For 13 hours a night, I sit in my truck and I drive. Out of boredom, I'll stop and eat. If I'm not doing fast food, I guarantee there's a bag of chips open on my dashboard. Along with that, I'm good for about four liters of soda a night. That was all until Andro 400. I started out four months ago weighing 341 pounds, and since taking Andro 400, I have dropped 45 pounds. I'm sleeping better. There's no craving. My knee pain went away. I've had some lower back issues, and I've noticed that that went away, and I can only contribute that to Andro 400. One thing that Andro 400 said on the radio ad, does it attacks belly fat? Well, let me tell you, it did. I've lost six inches. This product really does work. So, guys, if you'd like to experience similar results, then get Andro 400, the safe, natural, and inexpensive way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. Four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-386-7194 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver 
silver dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-386-7194. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Time for Sink or Sail. If you think this song is Yacht Rock, text SAIL to 77031. If not, text Sink. Text us at 77031. Uh, welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. And Jack is here. So is Ross. Are we on a boat? We are. <laughs> don't know if we're on a boat. This is Sink or Sail. Is this boat sinking or is and, this boat uh, sailing? Jack? Yeah, so with that, uh, this is ELO, don't bring me down. Uh, I played this this past Sunday. So uh, the Sunday I played during Captain's Log Radio, people get to vote in. And this one uh, went the way I thought it would go. Um, and then, you know, uh, six days later or five days later, we play it right here on the Jim Colbert show. This is the second song from ELO we're playing. Their first song, uh, Sweet Talking Woman, about mm -hmm. six weeks ago, was a definite sale. However, this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great actually, song. On Sunday. Yeah, I love the song. But on Sunday, it was the Sinks that had it as not being Yacht Rock. And I think if you look at the texting survey, it's pretty clear. We're starting to see it come in as sync. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty clear there. I, and again, love this song. Yeah. Love this band. One of the more unique bands to come out in the late 70s and through the 80s. And uh, a lot of fun. Jeff Lynn is the songwriter, lead singer, uh, keyboardist for this band. Um, like globally respected yeah. musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big cool, time. Cool songwriting. Yeah. Cool technique for recording. Yeah. This is just a little too upbeat to be Yacht Rock for me. And for me, it's like, uh, the, for me, it's similar to Super Tramp. They have some songs that qualify, right. but, but not all. 100%. You know? That's a perfect Same time comparison. frame. Yes. Yeah. Perfect yeah. comparison. Yeah. What do you think, Deb? I've always hated this song. Do you really? really? Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I hate it. I'm God. about it. I like it. How do you like, how do you not like this tune? What Easy. about it? What about? Wait, what, wait, what wait, about did, it? Did something happen when no, it was I was first out? I, no, <laughs> I just never. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, look, there's a bunch of them I don't get either. <laughs> They're very popular. I just happen to like ELO because yeah. you know. Here's the thing. You know, uh, when it's part of your childhood. Oh, and, I mean, this is definitely yeah. And this came out in the midst of seven, you know, 1975, 76, 77, like. You know, rock, rock, like that dirty rock, like Finn Lizzy and Ted Nugent and stuff like that was really big then. And Would you say during your formative years? Yeah, that would be definitely during my formative years. Yeah, yeah, the the mid-70s were my formative, formative years, going into my 80s, of course. I like this song. Yeah, it's cool. But do you guys have, here's the thing, about 70% of this song I really don't care for, but I really like when they go, don't bring me down. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> Oh, Jack with the pipes, dude. Jack knows he did not know he could hit a note like that. Is, did they have, is it Witchy Woman or Black Magic Woman? Which one, What was the other song from ELO that was that oh. was really kind of spooky, creepy kind of sounding? And, and it was something to do with woman, like Black Magic Woman or Witchy Woman or something. Like, it's not Witchy Woman. Because that's another band, right? Evil Woman. Evil, Evil Woman. There now, you go. That one I like. Yeah, play it. That one I like. 
Can we play? Oh. Sounds like Beatles. right here listen to this breakdown real quick oh it may be a little bit long i think he does one more verse anyway cool tune elo that yeah. that i think would be borderline sale yeah i think this one is yeah. uh that might make it all right 407 slower 916 1041 text us at 7701 it's also got another good breakdown in there if you like breakdowns in that song they have a real good like uh ooh hoo hoo type breakdown yeah <laughs> no i knew you're gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know the song. Yeah, you know. Come on now. I, I don't know. He even put his hand up to do the guitar solo. I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little. That's a nice little tasty lick there. I can hear it from the back row. Is Jeff Lynn still with us? I like how that guy get fiddles. Has he, has he passed or is he still alive? What a six string samurai you got yeah. there. <laughs> he was also part of the uh, the traveling Rollberries. Yep. Yeah. Part oh, of that wow, super yeah. group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell his influence in the songs as well, by the way. He and Roy Orbison, another tough yeah, name. Yeah, 76. Say. Yeah, good for him, man. Yep. Good mm-hmm. job, Jeff Lynn. Roy Orbison, that's a good friend of mine uh, yeah. back in the day. He used <laughs> exactly. To, we used to, you know, interchange tasty bites. Man, listen. <laughs> All right, let's do <laughs> Embers Only. Now, it's time to explore the world of cigars spirits, and other things that make life worth living. This is Embers Only. Embers Only brought to you by our very good friends over at Corona Cigar Company. Love these guys. Jeff Borsowitz and his team have put together some of the most unbelievable smoking lounge experiences you can find in the state of Florida. They are amazing. Everybody knows about Corona. Three locations, Heathrow, downtown, Sand Lake Road. And these are lounges that sell cigars and fine spirits. And that's exactly what it feels like when you go in. A wonderful experience. Man, if you want to decompress... If you've had a tough week, slide into a Corona Cigar location, grab yourself a nice bourbon, have them recommend a nice cigar that pairs with it, and then just sit and chill and enjoy it. You won't believe how well it works in kind of lowering your stress levels. And one of the reasons I love having a good cigar is that very thing. It just kind of slows you down a little bit. And the great thing about Corona, they have the best selection in Orlando and people to get you to cigars that you can enjoy. If you're a noob, they'll start you off with something a little mellow. If you're a seasoned smoker, they can turn you on to some stuff you can't find anywhere else. That's why we love them. It's coronacigar.com. Our cigar of the week is one I've not had before before this. It's the Villager Nicaroma Habano Gordo. And I have one right here in my hand there, Ross. Look at the size of this hog. No, oh, my. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a handful there. <laughs> For Here's the thing, man. These things smell wonderful. They taste amazing. But let me tell you where they win. So what you have here is a Nicaraguan cigar, really high demand, three versions, of course. You get uh, three different wrapper choices. Uh, this is the natural, and it's wonderful. All Nicaraguan binders, all Nicaraguan fillers, medium strength. A little creamy, a little spicy up front, but that mellows out. And then you just get a nice, rich tobacco flavor all the way through. Here's where they win. They're only $54.95 a box. That is legit half price. And these things are crazy popular inside the shop. And sometimes this happens. You'll go in and they'll like, there's there will be a cigar that the guys who work there kind of get locked on to. That's a great price. And this happens with spirit companies as well. Like the big spirit companies, you'll find that bottle of liquor that just kind of meets all of those those kind of expectations, and it doesn't cost much. This is the cigar version of that. The guys at the shop love these cigars, and for the price, you can't beat them. Again, only fifty four ninety five a box. It's the Villager Nicaroma Habano Gordo. This is your cigar of the week. They do have them at all three locations, and if you're out of the area, they will mail them to you as well. It's coronacigar.com. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Again, the Villager Nicaroma Habano Gorda is your Cigar of the Week. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show.
You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show. Orlando City travels south to meet Messi and in Inter-Miami in Fort Lauderdale this Saturday. Coverage begins at 4 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law, clausmanlaw.com. All lanes are blocked on Orange Avenue between Lancaster Road and approaching Sand Lake Road. Authorities are clearing up an accident blocking the left lane on Florida's Turnpike southbound before I-4. There's an accident blocking the center lane on I-4 eastbound at Fairbanks Avenue. Travel with caution and the on-ramp from World Drive to I-4 westbound is partially blocked due to an accident. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Amtrak. Visit new and exciting places across the U.S. on Amtrak. It isn't just about the destination, it's about the journey. Without busy airports or cramped car rides, with no middle seats, extra legroom, and first-class private rooms, new adventures are just an Amtrak away. Book now at Amtrak.com. Make the most of this spring break. Visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, the only place where you can meet an astronaut, touch a moon rock, stand nose-to-nose with a real space shuttle Atlantis, and more. Launch into bold new territories this spring at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. And they have a brand new down to earth price you're going to love. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Blast off, make your vacation at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex an out of this world experience. It's an amazing spot, tons of cool stuff. And right now, you can take advantage of this new two day ticket offer, costing less than $45 per day, offering maximum flexibility for the entire family. Just visit KennedySpaceCenter.com for tickets and more information. Calling all space explorers, it's time to come face to face with real space. Get your tickets today at KennedySpaceCenter.com. Daytona Bike Week is back March 1st through the 10th, and there's no better place to celebrate than at the iconic Daytona International Speedway. Home to the area's largest motorcycle marketplace with top manufacturer displays, top-of-the-line gear, custom bikes, and more. Plus, free test rides on Progressive Demo Road and all the excitement of Harley-Davidson Thunder Alley. It all culminates Saturday, March 9th with America's most historic motorcycle race, the Daytona 200. Don't miss out. Daytona International Speedway is the place to celebrate Bike Week. I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down and some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a dollar forty nine McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba da ba ba ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for two seventy nine. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only three sixty nine. dollars Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. With all the new people moving here recently, we thought it'd be a good idea to explain International Diamond Center. If you've lived here a while, you already know this, so bear with us. International Diamond Center, also known as IDC, is not an ordinary jewelry store. It was started decades ago by a major East Coast diamond supplier, Keith LeClaire. Keith had international connections with diamond cutters and would sell diamonds to upscale jewelry stores. Then he decided to start selling direct to the public at prices that undercut traditional jewelers in a big way. This no middleman approach caught on big, and now IDC is one of the largest and most successful jewelers in America, still providing exceptional quality and astonishing value. So if you've just moved here from New York or California or wherever, know that IDC is the area's go-to place for diamonds, fine designer jewelry, and Swiss timepieces. Just be prepared to be a little shocked when you see how great our values are, especially compared to where you came from. International Diamond Center, just another great reason you made the move south. Get details, directions, store hours, and more at shopidc.com. 
Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 20 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at CoronaCigar.com. Testing live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. At work, just pretend you're on a Zoom call with us. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Get out of your food bill. The most expensive way to eat is DoorDash and Grubhub. I mean, that gets really expensive. It's like my wife always says, if you know how to cook, you can live like a king for a lot less. And don't begrudge yourself the time to make a good home cooked meal from scratch it's well worth the time sure. spent you're right buddy. are you are you couldn't agree with you more boss i love it i wish i had more time to cook i'm gonna send that i'm gonna save that talk back and send it to my daughter yeah yeah right right <laughs> i do i wish i had more time to cook we just yeah. sent me the time this schedule is brutal when i you know when we did the mornings it was so easy to plan and then have a nice meal ready and you know take some time when a glass of wine but man now it's just when it's, you're getting home at 7 45 yeah, for you yeah, yeah hello it, fresh is the best we can do without it being involved i mean already you know just and again not bitching about this it's just it is life i'm not i'm not angry about it but as much as i love to cook we have to have like family events and i can plan and and do something cool which i love doing man and I would agree with that guy. I think cooking is one of the best skills you can have. Man, woman, it doesn't really matter. Knowing how to make something from what's in your fridge that you just kind of have there and now, what's in your pantry, whether it be just simple rice, some frozen vegetables, and maybe an old chicken breast or half of a chicken from Publix that you didn't finish. I mean, that has it, a like a limitless possibility. A lifelong benefit. Oh, my God, right? man. It serves it's, you for an essential of your life. You know, my grandmother was, was the most important person in my life, you know, that's now passed. And one of the reasons I believe that is because she passed down that love for uh, for cooking and the idea of what it meant to a family. So, all right, 407-916-1041, text us 77031. Deb, we got some breaking news? Yeah, uh, as expected, Governor Ron DeSantis has vetoed the social media ban for uh, residents 16 and under. He said that he and the uh, Florida legislature are going to work on building an even stronger bill that would withstand any constitutional challenges. So basically that's it. They didn't want to have to deal with any more lawsuits. Well, finally, that's good, man. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I mean, seriously, because, I mean, hmm. this will just, you know, this these guys have really kind of entered into a lot of arguments they can't win, just costing taxpayers more and more money and wasting time. And I understand they kind of has to do it a little bit, but, but man, it just it just seems these fights are so meritless, and that's that's what's so frustrating about it. You know, watching you levy fights that you know for a fact you have no chance uh, in its constitutionality, which sucks because again, it's just a waste of time and the legislature's money and the taxpayers' money. Yeah, exactly. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. When I say TV ghosts, what do you guys think? The what? Ghost and Mrs. Muir, classic yeah. show. Yeah, <laughs> classic show, Jack. When I say TV ghosts. What does it mean to you, uh, Ross? You know, I can't believe this is the second time I'm bringing up this line of movies, but I think of Ernest. You think of Ernest? Yeah, yeah. Was there I, a ghost in Ernest? No, but he's, he died. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a str- okay. That, uh, I answered the question. You, the CB- <laughs> you, you, okay. you asked a open-ended question. You are correct. I'm sorry. And I understand that Ernest was a bunch of movies, but a uh, lot of them were like, you know, straight to DVD. A lot of them were on TV. 
When Your I, subjective answer to his question is wrong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know anything? Uh, Deb, what, when I say TV ghosts, do you what do you what do you think when I say that? I think of the CBS show Ghosts. Okay, there you go. Mm-hmm. What were you gonna say, Jack? Yeah, it's no, th- that was it. The because that's the one you see the ads for all the time. Well, there's a story today. Um, Yahoo News has this, or it's actually out of the AP, and it's a very interesting story. And what they're really talking about when it comes to TV ghosts are all the networks that have kind of died and turned into what they call ghost channels these days. Think about how important some of these networks were to us not even 10 years ago. How about the USA Network? Remember how important MTV was for years? Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's what they're saying. is like USA, um, Disney Channel is a ghost town. Streaming has destroyed all of these channels. These channels and these networks that were so important years ago, now they're playing like re, re I mean Nickelodeon I think is the same way. It's pretty much SpongeBob all day, isn't it? I know MTV is ridiculousness yeah. pretty much all day long. Well, the whole Wait, I'm sorry, is that a show or is that just your re, commentary on the program? No, ridiculousness is a show with okay. uh, Rob Deerdeck about like, you know, and just him playing videos of people getting in the nuts yeah. with wiffle ball bats. And, yeah, and guess what that show is? It's basically the internet. Right. Exactly. You're right. We ten years beforehand, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean Tosh Tosh was also doing that, but that was before the internet was really, you know, accurate on being compiled yeah, yeah. and finding its audience. Basically, the story is about the death of cable television. And that's oh. what the ghosts of TV is. All these cable TV networks that yeah. we leaned on yeah. for so many years for entertainment before streaming became so popular. It says uh, here, it says, uh, you know, quickly entered popular culture through cable TV is gone. Honey Boo Boo, remember her? <laughs> uh, the Sopranos, Tony Soprano, Lizzie McGuire, Don Draper, John Stewart, Beavis and Butthead. All of these people and all of these characters are characters you met through these channels that are now like basically ghost network. Well, 45, 50 year run. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And I would say that those channels leaned heavily on advertising. Make sure that you see this show at eight o'clock, because if you don't, who knows when you'll see yeah. that episode versus, you know, streaming, you just, Go and watch it. And when you look at the numbers that these people used to have just a few years ago, as opposed to how many people watch it now, you can't even believe it. Like, it is, I mean, it's it's simply amazing. It says, now MTV is a ghost. It's average primetime audience of this much. So, in 2014, yeah. their daily audience was 807,000 viewers. What do you think it was in 2023? Oh, man. I'll go... St- Fifty no. thousand, not fifty thousand. What do you think, Jack? Two hundred thousand. What do you think, Deb? Five hundred, uh, three hundred. Okay, I, I think Deb is close by just a little bit. Two hundred fifty-six thousand yeah. people. So you think about that from eight hundred seven thousand to two hundred fifty thousand in just a few years, just like you know, eight years, eight nine years. It's just pretty much dropped off the planet, and that is nothing. Well. The, that is nothing. Wait, those we, are cord cutters, right? Yeah, you're right. Because you're I right. don't get those channels, and that's why I didn't know Ridiculous and this was a show on right. TV. Oh, because now, because I don't get those channels. Now let's think about other channels. You would think to yourself, how could the Disney Channel lose? Because they have Disney Plus. How possibly could the Disney Channel? It's the Disney Channel. It's yeah, like, but they, they make money. Them- but they make money by you getting the Disney by you getting the streaming platform. So. It doesn't behoove them to put their programming on a, a channel that you're paying one price for when they can get you to pay it to them directly. Exactly. You know, they called this at one point, they called Disney Channel and the Cartoon Network de facto babysitters. Because basically parents, because they would play endless cartoons, the same thing on a loop, you could just sit your kids there and basically get babysat. The Disney Channel birthplace to stars like Miley Cyrus, Hilary Duff, Selena Gomez, two of those still very relevant. Ariana Grande. Ari- yeah. Right. How much? What's the percentage of its audience? Do you think it's lost from 2014 to 2023? What percentage of its audience has it lost? At one point, its audience was 1.96 million people a day, of viewers a day. Yeah, I'm going to go 80 percent. 80 percent. What do you think, Ross? 65 percent. 70. 93 percent. Their 2023 viewership is 132,000 viewers. From 1.96 million at one point. TBS, TNT, History Channel, Lifetime, FX, A&E, BET, 
E! Entertainment, Sci-Fi, Comedy, all of those are considered now ghost networks because usually they just have a few shows that they just play the repeats of and reruns, and that's it. That's just It's just on a loop, and it's still... And the reason why, they're like, people, why don't they just put them out of their misery? Because people still watch. One of these channels, I guess, just plays Tyler Perry movies. Like, TBS plays them, like, one after the other. My daughter hardly watches television. It's all YouTube. Yeah, However, yeah. she That's was recently son. at a uh, Airbnb. And I guess they had cable and came back and missed that ability to just, you know, bring up the guide and just kind of yeah. go through all of those channels. Um, we have that a little bit but through the antenna and all the free TVs that you kind of can get. And it you still get a guide and choices, but not these specific channels but as you're talking about they're like on life support yeah 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 there's only one of these brands they are say that are really keeping well two of them that are keeping their head above water with actual programming can you name the two that would espn well espn that you're right but they don't consider that one of these because they don't no. consider it a ghost channel yet hdtv no not quite it might be fox it's you're close FX and AMC. Yeah. Because American Horror and then FX just had The Bear. Yeah. And so that's there it. are a few of these networks that have tried to kind of reach out and create new, prog new programming content. But I mean, it's few but, and far between because those are basically hybrids still. And if I was going to watch those, I'd go to Hulu. Right. Exactly. But I, I'm seriously consider trimming down some of these packages because all of the streaming service, all, all I mean, Netflix, Apple TV. I'm paying ten bucks a month for Apple TV. Yeah. Why? I'm not even watching anything <laughs> exactly. on Apple TV. Exactly. That's what's crazy about this stuff. I mean, back when you had the cable packages, even though you didn't watch a certain channel, you had it available for one price. You didn't have to add it on like a la carte. Yeah. You know, a seven ninety nine, and they have to go through the process of canceling that, which is a nightmare. I think I could get into Russia faster. Yeah, that might be a youth thing. <laughs> yeah. There is one of these channels they say that has excelled. Actually, two of them that have that have actually gotten bigger. And it, and it kind of makes sense. One is HGTV. Because during the, during the pandemic, the, the whole DIY thing became a big deal. Remember how well Home Depot and Lowe's stocks did? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, and people like Tools Ace Harbor, how well they did during those times? Because people were like, well, we can't go on vacation. We're going to upgrade our house. We're oh, going yeah. to make advancements in our house. So HGTV and those home remodeling shows did very well. What do you think the other one was? And it let's just say this kind of this this the content is for a specific audience. Oh, it's impossible to do this. The Hallmark Channel killed it. Oh yeah, they're oh, they're yeah. actually up twelve percent. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're Judging up. by the text of my my sister's text change, yeah. Oh, no, really? No surprise there. They love. They be <laughs> the whole. The Hallmark Channel is killing it. It's like it can't be cheesy enough. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm shocked. <laughs> I, 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 I'm watching have, for five minutes. I'm like, wait, is this serious? They have, they, they have 12 percent more viewers yeah. than a decade ago, and everything is like gotten harder, you know, to you know to go in there and get a package. I think Hallmark is almost Hallmark Channel is one of those channels they throw in with every streaming package. Yeah, I believe it's like soap operas, but movies that, of soap operas. That's exactly, right? Yeah. Have you ever? I you, would be careful on those ratings though about Hallmark. Is like the higher that number is, the worse we are doing. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Because people need to escape. Oh, we just like you know I. I bet you those numbers are going up because life is getting a little bit harder. They must make these hour and a half like, and, and they're basically just they're they're, they're plug and play movies. They are. They have lacking like, of substance. They have like eight actors. It's like Taco Bell of movies. They have like eight actors. <laughs> they have like ten storylines. It, it's Adult Disney Channel exactly, and they just intertwine them. Here's a challenge for you. This Christmas, of course, this is a little bit far off. This Christmas, go to the Hallmark Channel during the Christmas season. You will see a different Christmas movie every night. Yes. For days. Yeah. Every night. You're like, where are they making these things? It's one after the other, perfectly made 90-minute movies that wrap it all up in a bow at the end. Everybody comes together. Dad doesn't have to leave the country. You know, whatever. Mom gets the new car. It's yeah. perfect. Every one of them are exactly like kid stories. Don't sleep on it. It's a dog walker's Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the leashes get tangled. <laughs> They fall in love. Leashes and hearts, Jack, they yes. get entangled. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Our buddy Fia's car in next for a little food segment. We'll do that right after this. 
Dancing naked around your kitchen is a lot better with your best friends. Seriously. I mean... Why would you encourage that? Just say, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Traveling on I-4, bumper-to-bumper traffic before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road, eastbound and westbound. Heavy delays northbound on State Road 429, approaching Florida's Turnpike's ramp junction. Authorities are clearing up an accident on I-4 eastbound near Fairbanks Avenue. The left shoulder is blocked. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. The hit true crime podcast, Paper Ghosts, is back with a haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season 4 unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right to... There's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Get ready because Scott's is taking over Daylight Saving Time. It's such a big event that we're calling it Day Long Saving Time. And now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. Offers available February 29th through March 6th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-386-7194 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-386-7194. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V, A-G-E. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. In this week's Marketer's Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing and the movies. Everything that we are doing is incredibly data-driven. We are getting signals in 
every single day about how specific audiences are performing. So although we're marketing at a very broad scale, and that does include specific local markets, that's really the beauty of iHeart's network. You're not serving the same message to a consumer in Nashville necessarily that you may be in New York. You have the ability to be very specific and very personalized, but at a tremendous scale. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. History is beautiful, brutal, and often ridiculous. Join me, Ben Bullitt. And me, Noel Brown, as we dive into some of the strangest stories from across the span of human civilization in Ridiculous History. Whether we're exploring the accidental invention of hold music or how people used to rent pineapples, join us to hear the many ways history can be oh so ridiculous. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you find your favorite podcast. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Right time, guys. Time for another primetime kitchen here on Real Radio 104.1, featuring our buddy Fias Carr from the Orlando Weekly. We'll find out more about Fias here in just one second. First things first, this is all brought to you by our good friends over at Tools Ace Hardware. You love cooking outside, I do as well. Get yourself a Napoleon, get yourself a big green egg, maybe a Weber grill. These are awesome grills, maybe a Traeger, and everything you need to make your outdoor cooking perfect. They have it the hardwoods, the pellets. The rubs, the marinades, it's all right there, plus all the great accessories. It's Tools Ace Hardware, 13 locations, including that brand new store out in Hamlin. Find yours at toolsacehardware.com. Guys, good and loud for our friend, Fayez Cara. Yay! Yay! How are you, buddy? It's Bill. It's Bill. It's actually. not Bill. Your friend, your fan, it's not Bill. Uh, listen, I know that you want it to be Bill, so Americans mm. feel a better con- connection with you, but unfortunately, it, your name is Fayez. And you just got to live with it, buddy. We've talked about this a hundred times. Yeah. Americans. <laughs> <laughs> How's your week, big dog? How you doing? You all right? Oh, man. So I have had an epic week of eating. Oh, good. I, I have to tell you. Yeah. Oh, yes. So last week after the show, I went to Cadence for, uh, you know, for their uh, omakase, which okay. is like one of the better omakases in town. On Saturday... I went to Kabuki Sushi and thoroughly indulged in that, uh, you know, in that Peking duck that he serves. It's amazing. After Kabuki Sushi, we went to DBA, which is the new bar by uh, Joe and Alder Reese of The Strand. It's right next door to The Strand. Right. On on Sunday, I went to the Bonga Brunch at Kaya. And I know I railed against brunch last week, but, you know, I went at 2 p.m. And it's really, it's amazing food. After brunch, we went to Bakery 1908 for some uh, pastries and dessert. On Monday, on the way back from getting uh, Botox injections for my TMJ, um, I stopped into a place called Boiled Fish, which spe- which specializes in these Szechuan fish soups. For dinner that night, I went to Super Rica Tex-Mex, on Tuesday, Good Lord, I had dude. a heart attack and I stayed at home. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Gotta give yourself, on, you, you have to give yourself a good 24 hours to get over those. Yeah. Did you yeah. have any liposuction between the Botox and the heart attack? Right, right, right. <laughs> How are you not 400 pounds? Right, yeah. Tennis, baby. Okay. Racquetball. Lots of coke. Now, did you get a lap band <laughs> on the way? <laughs> but let me, I'm not done. I'm not done. On Wednesday, I went to Swine and Sons for their hot chicken sandwich. Um, and then on Thursday, which was yesterday, I went to the Salty Donut in Audubon Park for some donuts, and then I stopped into Hinkley's Fancy Meats for um, his steak sandwich. Tonight, right after the show, I'm going to go to the Courtesy, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head to Doshi, which is the Korean restaurant in Winter Park for their chef's counter experience. Tomorrow morning, I plan on having another heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> For dinner, I'm going to go to Reyes Mescalery. Wow, really? Wow, man. 
I haven't been epic. a Rez. It's an epic week. I haven't been a Rez in a while. I love. I mean, they have one of the best Instagram accounts out there. They do a good job. Wendy Lopez is awesome. Well, out and of they're all, doing a baked uh, Alaska. Are they really? Fias, yeah, yeah. this this epic week of eating. How how much material will you get out of it? Is this like a month of articles? Are are you going to get? Is it only going to be a couple weeks? Or how much work do you get out of that week of restaurants? Honestly, Jack, all all of this eating that I've done this week is was really just for the sake of eating. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that was my favorite. That's why I'm I love going it. to write That's about. That's why I love this guy. He doesn't even, he doesn't I mean, even do it his I job. Will, I I probably will write about them in the future, but I didn't go to any of these places for the uh, you know with the explicit purpose of yeah. writing. I guess about. it really depends what credit card you used, right? You know, I guess it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Yeah. If it's the one that says yeah. Bill Cara, then yeah. it's on you. <laughs> Well, you know, part of your segment every week now is we're talking, we're, we talk about the best thing you ate this week. Well, I mean, can you even pick out the best thing of those things that you had this week? What was the best? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so this place, Boiled Fish, it's on Turkey Lake Road. It's kind of near the, um, you know, the Whole Foods Plaza there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and Dr. Phillips, it's kind of in that area near the Walmart, actually. All right. And this place is just recently opened. It's a women run business, three women run it. And they have like seven soups, and not all of them will, you know, tear a layer off your colon. But there, <laughs> there are some that aren't spicy at all. But this one that I had was called the lemon sauerkraut fish soup, and it was like a, it was like a hot and sour soup. And it, and you know, do you know like the avgolameno soup that the Greeks make? You know, it's that rice and lemon and chicken soup with a little bit of egg drop in there. Not super familiar it's, with it, no. Yeah, so it's like a very common Greek soup, and it's somewhat like that. It's lemony, except you know, it's also infernal as well. But it's so <laughs> it, it's it's it was outstanding. That sounds great. After that sounds getting great. Botox, anybody will lose a cheeks. couple layers of skin on the inside of their mouth just go visit uh, boiled fish. Yeah, but like I said, not everything is spicy, and it's excellent. It's excellent. Excellent soup. So I would pop in. If yeah. you're in that area, pop in for a bowl of soup. All right. So let's talk about this new place coming to Maitland because I think, is this the same place you and I talked about, bro? Because that's coming to that one yes. spot that was available there. And, you know, and I think I do have a valid argument there. Tell us about the place coming to the, is it the old outpost area? It is. It is. So after the, uh, the holy show of shiz, I guess that was the outpost kitchen, um, Maitland will finally you know, get a restaurant worthy of occupying that very prominent space at the intersection of Horatio and um, and Orlando Avenues. And it's called Perea Greek Taverna. And I'm sure it'll do a thorough exorcism before moving in. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's run by the same people who own Bosphorus Turkish cuisine. Oh. And they have like I think there's three or four Bosphoruses around town. So um, one of the owners um, of of uh, of Bosphorus is of Greek descent, and so they're they're going to tap into that um, the heritage of that one owner. And you know, I, I mean, they they run like numerous restaurants uh, in town, so I, I imagine they'll you know they'll manage this one properly. And yeah, you and I were talking a bit about you know the sustainability of Greek of a Greek restaurant in Maitland, but you know, my argument was that. Uh, Maitland already has Athena roasted chicken. It's been there forever. And and there's like another Greek place going to open on Maitland Boulevard in the Trilago market called um, the Great Greek, which is another local uh, right. local chain. So there's going to be three Greek restaurants. And, you know, Greek is so accessible. I, I think it'll work for Maitland. It, it is it is very accessible. The, the, and I base that on this. I've seen some fast, fast, casual Greek that is extremely good. And in this Olea place that was over near Francesca's in Maitland was one of those examples. It, I ate there three times a week. It was fantastic. It really was. And it didn't make it. And one of the reasons it didn't make it is because much like Cajun food, if you aren't kind of indoctrinated into eating Greek food or the Mediterranean diet, or maybe you believe it's all fish and roasted tomatoes or something, that there's this preconceived notion of what it is. It's just loaded with feta cheese and uh, red onion, and that's all you're going to get. And I, and I think that it's that preconceived idea, and I wonder how it'll work at this level because that's a space where you're going to have to go in there with some pretty good price stuff. I mean, this is not – you're not slinging $11 bowls when you go into a space like that. You know, you're having full-blown sit-down, you know, Mediterranean meals with a full, fully developed menu, and I just wonder how those people are going to react to a menu like that, and can they sustain it? 
you know, it's such a prominent space that the, the 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 building itself, I think, I think the thinking was when they built that is that it's, it, you know, there was going to be like a high end steakhouse or some kind of chain that could, um, you know, afford, afford to stay there, you know, to put it bluntly, uh, unlike Outpost Kitchen. So, um, you know, the fact that Mediterranean, the word Mediterranean, everybody knows it. I think everyone has an idea as to what Mediterranean cuisine is. Um and and when you get into the um, uh, you know into the granular level of calling something Greek or Turkish or whatever Cypriot or you know uh, you know that's when I think things get lost. But when you market it as a Mediterranean type of restaurant, which we you know you know I know it's called the I know it's called Perea Greek Taverna, but just like Ava is in Winter Park with you know a Ava Mediterranean you right know, you're mixing Aegean and the Mediterranean. I think I think people know Greek and Mediterranean enough that that it, it'll do well. And the fact that they have that pedigree, the Bosphorus pedigree, um, that's a, should yeah, that's it a big should positive. Sustain it. Yeah, that's a big yeah, positive. I, think so. I mean, if you haven't been to Bosphorus, it's a great eating experience. It's like my, one of my favorite ways to eat. It really is just a bunch of bread and some stuff to shove in your face. All done quite well. It's really good. It really is. All right, let's move on. Tell me about this place out there. Uh, it's Naba and Nola's Ice Cream and Dr. Phillips. I just had some pretty good ice cream the other day. I'm wondering how this is going to hold up. Oh, okay. So, um, so next to Pepperoncino in Dr. Phillips will be a, a place called Nabe, and it's going to specialize in Wagyu Shabu Shabu. And if you don't know what Shabu Shabu is, it's sort of like Japanese hot pot where you put meats and thinly sliced meats and vegetables into a broth and then, and then you eat it. Um, and that's going to be by Louis Lin, who runs Susuru and Juju, two very uh, you know well-received restaurants in town. But what's going to be interesting about this space is that at the front of the restaurant will be a concept called Nola's Ice Cream, and that's going to be by Marie Mercado, who runs uh, the vegan ice cream joint downtown called Greenery Creamery, yeah. and who also runs Sampaguita Ice Cream, the Filipino ice cream joint in Mills 50. And and um, Nola's Ice Cream is going to specialize in, uh, are you ready for this, Ross? Fried donut Ice cream sandwiches. Oh, oh my God almighty. Oh, you just called dude, Ross's name. Dude, parlor, and there's yeah. another heart attack. Parlor donuts <laughs> came in this week, or Glenn brought some parlor donuts in here, and they're the, the cronut kind of things, and we, we, we had a knife fight over them. It was like a Michael Jackson oh, video in here. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. And um, anyway, so they're going to be opening around May, but then there's also more ice cream news, crispy cones, is going to open April the 5th in the Hourglass District in the Hourglass Market. And these crispy cones, these guys, the owners of this, uh, uh, of this concept, they were on Shark Tank and they got funding through Shark Tank. And now they're, you know, they're opening all over the place. And, and these crispy cones, they're based on a Czech confection called Treadlenicks, I think it's the way you pronounce. And essentially it's a, it's, it's a dough cone that's uh, grilled on a, uh, a tabletop rotisserie, and then it's uh, and then it's powdered with sugar and uh, cinnamon, and then the inside of the cone is like layered with like you know Nutella, like hazelnut oh, chocolate. God almighty! And then the ice cream, ice cream goes into it, and what? then it's got toppings, and then it's got like, you they, know the, the they, sauce. They make a full dessert before they put the dessert in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's almost like a donut. It's like a grilled donut of sorts. Is what the cone is made of. That sounds and then amazing. It's, and then it's got layered with chocolate. And, <laughs> look, yeah, how, look how much he's smiling. I've never seen you that excited ever. <laughs> it's, that sounds damn good. But isn't there something special about European desserts? Like whenever you, I, I don't know, every time I have like a a, like a Struppen waffle or something, it always makes me feel it, it's just a different tier of dessert. A little crepe or something? And yeah, it's its own genre of dessert for me. The Euro dessert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me about Alfie's Hi-Fi Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> so this is breaking Where news. are they putting so, all these places? My God, every time you come in here, you tell me about 10 new places that have opened, and I don't know that there are many buildings. Like, everywhere there's an open space, there's a restaurant going in. Some concept of cooking something. It's insane. It is insane. And so next week, the reason I didn't do a review this week is because I was, like, prepping for next week's issue, which will be our new restaurants issue, and I've got 80 eight new places oh, to my tout God. in this in this issue. So we'll we'll talk about that next week, but Alfie's is one of them. Alfie's isn't so much a restaurant as it is a a, a hi-fi lounge, a vinyl listening bar and it's going into the old St. Matthew's Tavern space in Mills 50 
and it's by TMG Group, the uh, the Mawardi brothers who run like the Wellborn and Mathers and Taco Cat and Planties and and all these places. Um, and they're planning on opening at the end of end of April, and it'll be a, a '70s sort of vibe in this place because it's actually named after the Mawardi's father, Alfie, who evidently went to Woodstock and he was like big into the Studio 54 scene, and so it's going to have a '70s theme. They're going to be playing a lot of the the '70s type of music. Uh, there may even be like '70s themed disco drinks, like um, you know the 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 Gin Midori and the Harvey Wall Wall, wall Bangers and all those kinds of drinks. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, and they and they and they did build a kitchen, and uh, they were saying that Jason Campbell, who was uh, on their on their staff as well as Nick Greco, would would handle the uh, the, the menu. Um, but when they launch, they won't initially have a food menu, but they eventually they will. Um, there'll be three rooms. Vinyl listening, there'll be a DJ, all that sort of thing. They're going to have a Japanese garden on the outside for all the smokers, I guess. Um, so that's that's breaking news in, in Mills 50. That sounds great. Yeah, I mean, if you're into vinyl listening bars, I went to one when I was in Mexico City. And I think initially when they were created in Tokyo, they were meant to be almost like a library for, for people to go and just listen to right. high-quality sound uh, on vinyl. And then it sort of like morphed into, you know, some of them became like kind of clubbier and, and more party spaces. Right. Um, but but the one I went to in Mexico City, I think it was called the Tokyo Tokyo Vinyl Club or something like that. Um, it, too, was was pretty sedate. It was like, you know, people went there who were really into sound and really into music and vinyl. And, yeah, yeah. You know, they have they serve really high quality cocktails. That's nice. Um, you know, that's but not, this place will be a little a little more of a party atmosphere. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. You know, that's kind of a thing now. As I look for a new place, the, a few of the places we've looked at have converted uh, a room in the house of some sort to a room dedicated to a vinyl collection and listening. So the rooms yeah. usually will have some type of sound deadening uh, devices or you know, panels. Then they'll have the stereo set up with an amp and a really high quality high you know turntable, a couple chairs. Mm-hmm. And then maybe some, uh, you know, some spirits in the room. But we've seen a few of those here recently. So maybe that's a thing now. Yeah, proper is one that that uh, recently opened. I think that opened last year, and that's a, that's another vinyl listening bar. I actually haven't gone to it yet, um, but you know, if people out there have, please uh, chime in and tell us what you think. But yeah. this will be in that same vein of. Uh, you know, because I guess you know, there's people have just gotten back into vinyl now, and with with the surge in popularity of vinyl, there it makes sense that there's like bars now that specialize in uh, you know in, yeah. in playing it and for people to go and listen to it. I saw the CDs are making a comeback. That people are now looking for certain <laughs> CDs really? and getting CD players, and that's kind of going back again. Oh, I held on to mine. Oh, really? Thank God. <laughs> yeah, they Woo! are. They're going to make a thing. And, well, and re- they miss out on this set set. Sen- sensation. <laughs> yeah. Well, the one thing that is uh, hitting hard is that dessert you mentioned. People are dying to know where that place again. This is the Nola's ice cream, and Dr. Phillips is in front of Nobby. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it'll be called Nabe. And in the front of Nabe will be Nola's ice cream. And this is not going to open until May. So it'll be right next door to Pepperoncino. I think there used to be like a fashion outlet there. Um, uh, it was called like. Juju or something like that. Yeah, but it's right next door to Pepperoncino in in Dr. Phillips in the Via Delagio Town Center. There you go. But that won't open it until May. But in April it will be crispy cones. Um, and if you go to their Instagram, I think they're promising a lot of freebies and stuff for for people who I don't know follow them. There you follow go. them on Instagram. So, crispy cones. I'm assuming it's at crispy cones. Yeah, that's crispy. Uh, that and that's with a C. You have to say that crispy cones in the Hourglass the District. There you go. That's where the uh, the fun cones are. The grilled cones he was talking about. People are asking on the texting service. They're crazy about the desserts, buddy. Yes, and if you follow me on Instagram at it's Fiascara, I'll have some uh, cardiologist recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> well, buddy, as always, we appreciate it very much. Give it up good and loud for our friend Fiascara. Yay! Yeah! You mean Bill. If you missed any of this, you can go to jimcorporatelive.com, or, of course, you can find him in the pages of the Orlando Weekly, and you can find him online at orlandoweekly.com. He's a food critic, uh, and he does give great reviews of restaurants all throughout the city that are honest reviews of what he thinks is good. I think his palate is one of the best in the city, and everything he has recommended except for one has done quite well.
Oh, I like that. You just leave that one out there and <laughs> yeah. let well, people make their own judgment. He's laughing because he told me about this place. I went, and and to be honest with you, like it didn't hit me right, but the place has been super popular, and it still is very popular, but uh, we'll leave that unsaid. Buddy, as always, good seeing you. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Likewise. Hope to see you next week. You got it, buddy. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Thanks for joining us for Primetime Kitchen, brought to you by our friends over at Tools Ace Hardware. Look, guys, when you're dialing in your backyard for those special days, Tools has you covered with the best grills out there, Weber, Traeger, and, of course, Big Green Egg. All the accessories you need, all the smoking wood you need, rubs, marinades, everything to make that outdoor experience amazing. You know, those family experiences are extremely special. Make sure you're doing it right with one of these great grills from our friends over at Tools Ace Hardware. With 11 locations in Central Florida, chances are you're right around the corner from your next dream grill. Find yours today at toolsacehardware.com. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your Friday forecast in Central Florida. And for today, we'll expect a mostly cloudy sky. A few breaks are possible, allowing for some sunshine, but overall, we'll expect the clouds to stick around. Temperatures, though, will still be making it into the upper 70s and low 80s by this afternoon for highs. For this weekend, temperatures will stay in the upper 70s and low 80s as well. However, scattered showers and a few thunderstorms will be possible throughout the weekend. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by the new Banana Boat 360 coverage. This sun season, Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage at Walgreens. Man, this roller coaster ride of Florida weather is unreal sometimes. But the good thing is, if you have Mills Air on your team, your AC doesn't have to worry about it. It's going to be in good shape all the time. Here in Central Florida, you got to be ready for these big weather swings. You got to make sure your AC can take care of you when it goes 60 to 85. And we know that can happen. These guys have been doing it since 1992. Let them use their 30 plus years of experience to make sure your AC never quits. The preventive maintenance plan is a basic must. And when you get these guys on your team, you're never going to want to not have them on your team. Their techs are awesome people. When they show up, you know you're in good shape because they know all these systems inside and out. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to know what kind of system you have. They can repair it. And even better, if you do need a new system, these guys are carrier factory authorized dealers, and that could get you up to $1,275 in rebates towards that brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and certainly turn to the experts at Family Owned and Operated Mills Air. Call these guys today to make sure your AC is never going to let you down. It's 407-277-1159. You can make your appointment online at millsair.com. Get ready for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by the Hartford, live at South by Southwest. March 11th, we'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year, and you'll help decide who wins Podcast of the Year. Vote now at iHeartPodcastAwards.com. YouTube is the streaming partner of the 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards, and we'll be honoring Rotten Mango with the inner Award presented by YouTube. Tune in live Monday, March 11th at 9 p.m. Eastern on iHeartRadio's YouTube channel. You won't want to miss this. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. The Big Florida Repossessed Car Fair is finally in Orlando, now until March 4th. Orlando Luxury Motors has more than 150 cars, SUVs, and trucks, and you'll save 20, 30, to 50% off MSRP. Good, new, or bad credit, all credits are welcome. You are 100% approved. Your first payment will be up to 60 days with zero down payment. You just pay the taxes. We will have music, food, drinks, and games for the kids. Take advantage of this opportunity and save big at Orlando Luxury Motors. 5300 South Orange Blossom Trail, right by the Florida Mall. Or call 407-233-3201. 
Make your dream of a new paver's driveway, pool deck, beautiful patio, and artificial turf a reality with Pavers Depot. Join us at the largest paver showroom in Central Florida, over 400,000 square feet in stock, including Temron brand pavers. Pavers Depot can get your job done in just two weeks with a free estimate on custom installation. Visit online at paversdepot.com or call 407-839-5900, 407-839-5900, paversdepot.com. Torres on his left foot shoots, he scores! Orlando City is on the road next weekend as the Lions travel south to take on rival Inter-Miami on Saturday, March 2nd at 4.30 p.m. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. And the Lions return home on Saturday, March 9th at 7.30, taking on Minnesota United, presented by Dex Imaging. The match will be a celebration of our 10th season in Major League Soccer. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com or tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. WJRR presents the Brightside Music Festival April 27th, taking over the Central Florida Fairgrounds for the highly anticipated return of Sublime featuring Jacob Knoll, along with Eric Wilson and Bud Gaw. Plus special guest 311 along with Goldfinger and plenty more to be announced. Get tickets at brightsidefest.com. That's brightsidefest.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like The Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The patented key ingredient is something called Testafin, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up. Up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again. At work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text all to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text ALL to 321321. That's all to 321321. Hi, my name is Tim Forehand. I'm a deputy sheriff, and my job keeping me in shape is important. I've tried other products to get my weight down, but nothing has worked like Andrew 400. In just three months, I've dropped 51 pounds, down from 230 to 179. Plus, the weight's come off in the stomach area. I've gone from a snug 36 inch waist to a 32 inch waist which i was in high school i highly recommend the andrew 400 to all my friends guys are you frustrated because no matter how hard you try it seems impossible to lose stubborn belly fat then discover why thousands of men each month rely on andro 400 lose belly fat gain energy and confidence and feel great about yourself andro 400 the safe effective and inexpensive way to boost your testosterone go to andro 400.com or call 888 888- 400-0435. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Jim, I got your email. I can't wait for tonight. Tuna and crackers. Oh, and let's not forget tapioca time. See you tonight. All right, big dog. Be there around 740 or so. Warm up my heating pad. I'm afraid to ask who that was. This is the guy I met at Aldi. That was Big Chuck. Big Chuck. <laughs> Big Chuck. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Dev is right there. Hello. Jack is right there. Oh. Ross is here as well. Chucka, 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 chucka. Hoo, hoo. I like that, whatever that is. 
That's Chuck's go-to line. That's the last thing yeah. people hear after they meet Chuck. How much do you guys pay attention to the packaging of the food that you buy? Yeah. Do it's, you do you pay much attention to it? Like I, with yeah. all the information you get on the back, the sugar, the fat, the oh, calories, oh. the I thought the carbs. you meant literally like the cardboard or the new plastic wrap, how everything is going to plastic and not yeah. reusable or biodegradable stuff. Yeah, no, no. How you're talking about the information on it. Yeah, the information yes, on it. Do I you, do. You do pay attention yes, to it? Yes. Deb, you pay attention to the packaging on food? Oh yeah. Ross? I do. What's the most important stuff that you see when you see on packaging? Like what what do you look for? Salt, sugar. Salt, sugar, things of that nature. Same for you, fat, salt, all, all the stuff. Uh, I the first thing I look at is the that percentage, because usually, you know, especially with like bad food, there's always one of those percentages that if it's if you're like looking at a candy bar, more than likely the serving size is that candy bar, right? right? Yeah. So I just look for a high percentage, and that usually gives you the oh, that's why it tastes good, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> But some of those things you do have to pay attention to because you'll get like a, like I love eating cashews and pistachios, right? Uh, cashews, notoriously fatty, right? So you'll pick up a can of cashews and you'll look at them and it'll, it'll be like, you know, 180 calories. You're like, hell yeah, I win for 10. <laughs> like, yeah, you get to eat 10 cashews and it's like servings per container, like 50. I'm like, what? And then I sit there and eat four handfuls. I'm like, wow, I just ate 900 calories of cashews. Yeah, man, you got to count like some calories. Well, the reason I ask is this, you know, um, do you guys pay attention to whether something is organic? Like, do you look for that sticker? I do not, but I do know that my super vegan wife does. Yeah, for sure, right? Well, the FDA is considering new packaging recommendations for food in grocery stores. And the FDA is coming up with a new logo. And what do you think the new logo says? It's one word. GMO? Nope. Uh, it's hyphenated, actually organic. No, <laughs> no, no, no. One word, and they're trying to design a logo so they can put this on the front of packaging to let people know at a glance that they're in good shape. It's simple. Uh, gluten-free. Healthy. Oh. That's the word, healthy, right? So what they're trying to do now is they're trying to create packaging that says FDA healthy. It's got a little blue check mark. And all things. As you know, they have organic in there now, right? Yeah. Here's the problem, right? So the problem is this. So you would think to yourself, wow, who wouldn't want that, right? Who wouldn't want the ability to walk down your frozen foods aisle, your aisle, uh, your dry goods aisle, and look at a package and see that little FDA, it's recommended healthy. But the problem is, is there are a lot of companies out there going, yeah, but what do you think is healthy? Yeah. Like, what are your recommendations for healthy? And one of the number one producers of the, or one of the number one uh, uh, complaints when it comes to these companies is ConAgra. And they're basically like, look, you no. know, well, we have, <laughs> guess what our products are? Healthy choice. And believe it or not, as I read this story today, the reason why companies put the word healthy in the, in the name is to get around the FDA regulation of using the word healthy in the packaging mm -hmm. and in the advertising. Because they have to meet certain standards to use that, so they just use it as part of the name to get around it. And what they're saying is, is that to make their products, these healthy choice meals, which aren't terrible, by the way. I've, I've eaten those before, right? When you go into that thing where you're like, I'm going to eat this many calories a day. Yeah. And, and you don't look at the salt content. You just look at the healthy thing. And when you, when you see that packaging, they're saying for us to have to alter our recipes to you know, come into compliance with what the FDA considers healthy, it's going to change our product. And this is a big part of our business. So people like a lot of these food makers are freaking out. Sure. Now, the stuff that you get in like raw veggies, raw food, raw, raw you know, fruits, you know, none of that has to have it. There's no sticker that has to say, you know, you kind of understand if it's a raw piece of fruit, unless you eat 50 of them a sitting for 10 weeks in a row, you're going to be fine. You know, but, uh, I, I, the funny thing is, is I don't know that anybody will buy any differently. Like, I mean, we have the information there. How many Americans do you believe? Uh, do we have a question of the day? Oh, we don't. Yeah, let's do that. How many people do you think read or pay attention to the to the information on their food packaging? Well, do I, you? I, yes, I do. Well, that's a hundred percent of this show. Then when yeah, you yeah. asked, well, I understand that. Yeah. But I mean, do you think the common? Uh, do you think every? I say common. Do you think the everyday shopper out there? goes down the aisle, and instead of going, I wonder which of these shells and cheese are the best for me, just go, I wonder which one of these tastes the best, as but opposed to kind of looking for what's best for you. How important is that answer to you? 
To me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, whether oh, or not it's healthy or not? Well, no, whether or not the average person or, uh, you know, it, if the majority of people do this or not. Well, it's just it's just a, a, a measure of how many people would pay attention to if yeah. the FDA you know dives in and it really takes a lot of time to do this if it really even matters. And then what is that number that you would be like, oh, it does matter. This is working. I would think that if if even thirty five percent of the people who are buying food started to kind of pay attention if the food is actually good for them, that would be a that would be a good number. See, I would say that number would be I don't know like. Three percent for me because anything in that right direction. I, the question of I wonder how many people read the nutritional values. Give the people the option to, is I think the most important thing. Yeah, I, yeah. It, not necessarily whether or not they or they will. I know a hundred percent of us on the show does. Yeah, yeah. But as long as we have the option, I think then I am two thumbs up. What percentage of people do you believe, or what percentage of manufactured foods right now do you believe? Uh, are currently allowed to claim their food as healthy. In other words, they can print it on the box. The FDA agrees what is in this box or packaging is healthy for the consumer. What percentage of all food products right now do you think meet that criteria? 15%. What do you think, Deb? 7%. What do you think? 5%. 3%. Nice. 3% of all the food that you consume out of the grocery store that isn't a raw vegetable or a raw fruit is only 3% is deemed healthy by the FDA. Okay. Which explains why they're freaking out. Right. Question of the day, wording check. Do you read the nutritional values of food before you buy it? Perfect. Sounds great. Don't have to do anything else to it. And it says, uh, now they already had a regulation in the books that started in the 90s. This new regulation will update the 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 now re, you know the daily recommendations now and more reflective of what we know uh, as opposed to thirty years ago in the nineties. I think the biggest difference is what someone just texted us at seven seven zero three one. I look at it, then get it regardless of what it says. <laughs> right, that's kind of what I was talking about. Like, like yeah. I, I, mean, I wonder. Like, that's what my whole point is: is when you're rolling down the aisle, if this thing's going to be blue and white, it's going to be pretty prevalent on the packaging in most food that I've seen. And will you really? Will it even make a difference? I mean, and again, if it's, what, 50 cents more, most people are going to go, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. It can't be that much worse for me. They've been selling it for a while. Right. I've been yeah. eating it for years. Right. All right. 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Our friend Candace Rich is up next with Rich Tips. Hang loose. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. There's a little bit of congestion on the Greenway northbound approaching Lake Jessup Bridge on I-4. There's a couple accidents to watch out for eastbound near Fairbanks Avenue. The on-ramp from Colonial Drive to I-4 eastbound is partially blocked. On Florida's Turnpike, there's bumper-to-bumper traffic southbound between County Road 33 and County Road 561. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. $5 finger licking deals are back at your local KFC. Choose from three delicious options, a two-piece meal with a drum, thigh and buttery biscuit side, and eight-piece chicken nuggets or two chicken little sandwiches. Only available at select participating locations, not online. Tax extra, it's finger licking good. One of the things I loved most about working with that mortgage guy, Don, when buying our house was how creative he was in finding a solution to our mortgage needs. So before you make a move to buy a new home or refinance your existing home, listen as that mortgage guy, Don, hosts the Home Loans Radio Show right here on Real Radio 104.1 from 9 to 1030 every Saturday morning. And you can listen to the past 170 plus informative episodes at that mortgage guy, Don.com or wherever you download podcasts. Podcasts like the free iHeartRadio app. It's peace of mind right at your fingertips at that mortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat, compare your quote with that mortgageguydon.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. 
Daytona Bike Week is back March 1st through the 10th, and there's no better place to celebrate than at the iconic Daytona International Speedway. Home to the area's largest motorcycle marketplace with top manufacturer displays, top-of-the-line gear, custom bikes, and more. Plus, free test rides on Progressive Demo Road and all the excitement of Harley-Davidson Thunder Alley. It all culminates Saturday, March 9th with America's most historic motorcycle race, the Daytona 200. Don't miss out. Daytona International Speedway is the place to celebrate Bike Week. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands in grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, and Napoleon. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. And now they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine dollars and up. It's Tools Ace, 13 convenient locations in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin, just open. Or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Don't miss the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th in Ponta Vitra Beach. Invite your friends and family to enjoy the ultimate fan experience with front row access to the PGA Tour's best players at the iconic stadium course. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. Bike Week is here. Make Orlando Harley-Davidson part of your Bike Week plans. Orlando Harley-Davidson has the largest selection of new and pre-owned Harley-Davidson motorcycles in the state of Florida. Make sure to stop at Orlando Harley-Davidson during Bike Week. Enjoy food, exclusive merchandise, pinstriping, tattoos, music, a full bar, and so much more. Visit OrlandoHarley.com for a full list of motorcycle inventory and Orlando Bike Week details. Stop by the Orlando Harley-Davidson dealership right off I-4 across from the Mall at Millennia. Cheers to you, girl. I know you're excited about the new job. Oh, thanks so much. Hey, is that my engagement ring you're wearing? Don't be <laughs> silly. Oh, wow. They are identical. How did that happen? Don't tell me. He went to jail. Yeah, yours too, I guess. Wow. Don't make her settle for one of those cookie cutter rings from the big corporate chain jewelry stores. At International Diamond Center, you can get her a stunning one of a kind designer ring. One that's as unique as she is. IDC has over 4,000 handcrafted rings from world class designers like Takori, Viraggio, Henry Dossi, and others. These are designers that you'll never see in one of those mega corporate stores, but we have them starting at under $1,000. So, ladies, don't settle for ordinary. For a ring that will be yours and yours alone, make sure he goes to International Diamond Center. International Diamond Center with four convenient Orlando locations. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. You probably don't know this or care, but we have web goals. So go to jimcolbertlive.com and look at stuff. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well. Let's do Rich Tips. Want to get 
get rich? Of course you do. Well, Candace is here to give you a clue. These tips are for entertainment purposes and are not endorsed by the show station or company. That should cover our ass, right? Anyway, it's time for Rich Tips. Good and loud for our friend Candace Rich. Yay! Your Yay. hair looks amazing yes, today. It does yes, look ma'am. good. My God, look at you, man. What's going on? I put the light in the right place this time. Very good. Yay. Yay. I don't look like I have brown hair. Yeah, you look oh. great. Oh, come on, get out of here with that. You do have a very Ameri- a very American dress on today. A lot of stars in your dress. It sounded like yes. you got upset over her saying that her hair is brown. No, no, no. I mean, her, her hair no, is, is not brown. He asked her if she colored it, I believe, a week ago or so. Yeah, because it looked like yeah. it had some highlights on the front there. It looked and nice. she was offended enough to fix the light and make a point of telling Right, 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 right. So I, I just added thought... an extra light just for the hair. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't understand hair lighting, Jim. I would not. Trust me, I would not. Oh! Yeah. I, I understand scalp reflection. That's where I, uh, <laughs> See? I can come See? into play. Too much light. How has your week been? <laughs> like a lighthouse. It's been very good. It's been very good. We've, got, we've had some... Changes around here, and you know, since I got back from the Super Bowl, I'll elaborate a little more next week about that. Oh, and, uh, this made my my schedule a little chaotic. Really, what happened? Yeah, oh, I said I'll elaborate a little bit next, next week. week. Oh, come <laughs> on, it's a tease. Oh, it's a tease. I don't, I don't want to wait. I don't yeah, want to wait. Uh, yeah, you do. You do. You All do. Right. You really do. All right. Good. All so right. you know what, though, Jim? What's I'm that? gonna get you. I um I find myself once in a while out in public amongst regular people. <laughs> oh my god. And I get very frustrated at the point of sale when I see someone making a very gym move okay. and using a debit card. And I'm just curious, do you use yours at all anymore for purchases? No. Uh I, I will tell you I will because June will be a year. I'll be completely honest. Um I did use it at a gas station the other day because it would not accept uh, my phone or my Apple card. It kept kicking it back for some reason. It wouldn't let me use it, so I had to wind up using my debit card there. But other than that, it's pretty much my Apple card all the way around. Jim needs a second credit card is what I hear. Do you, do you know? Oh, really? Hold on for a second. How much money do you think I've made on my Apple card? I was going to ask. Over the last, I think it's since August is when I remember getting it, I believe. Or was it? Was well, it? You, no, you were going to start using it June 1st. Okay, very good. So, so June 1st, how much money do you think I've made? I know exactly how much it is, by the way. Okay, cool. So I know you you bought a, a nice driver. Um, I'm I'm gonna guess five hundred. All right, Ross. Uh, I'll go. I'll go four. Okay, Jack. Three fifty. All right. Yeah, that's better. I mean, she's studying me. <laughs> I love it. Five hundred. Yeah, yeah. It's actually right at about four hundred and fifty bucks. So I think Jack oh. and Ross would split it there. Four fifty is what I made, and I'll give you an example, like. This this Apple Card has purchased all the stuff I would usually purchase for my golf tournament coming up in a couple weeks. Like that's what mm-hmm. I would do. Like you know, uh, golf balls, gloves, all the stuff. I would, you know, a couple, maybe a new shirt or something. That's what I've I've used it for. I, and it's been awesome. I still have money on it right now to use. I, I guessed yours based on I've I've gotten five hundred since the last time I cashed out. Right. It was about the same time. Yeah, it's perfect. So it, it's just I mean, and that's money you just. Free money? Didn't have. Yeah, you weren't doing anything about it before. And so I see that, and I get so frustrated for so many people who still use their debit cards for multiple reasons. One, I hate to see someone use a debit card and not get the protections you get with a credit card when you're making a purchase. And, you know, for instance, I mentioned to you, I also wanted to follow up with you on this, Jim. Let's follow up on Jim's life. Um, remember, you had purchased flowers for Valentine's Day, and they weren't delivered or whatever. And I, I texted you, and I asked, did you go, call the credit card company and get a charge back? Got it all set. Did you? Did you get your money back? I, well, I got I got half of it back. They they charged me for what they actually delivered, and then charged back the balance of it. But yes, I did get the money back. But you get you have so much more leeway. Well, I don't want to say leeway. You have so much more protection right. that with that credit card that you don't have with a debit card. With a debit card, your money's gone, and it's really well, hard to get it back. And you're responsible for the first fifty dollars of it many times. Yeah, and let me tell you something else. Where this really comes into play that you don't know about is my wife bought tickets for a show for my mother-in-law, and we were having issues with them. And I re- and then she looked and said, "Oh, I forgot. I bought them with the Apple Card. We're all set." Because she read the thing and kind of found out that you know the Apple Card had those protections, and it was going to be perfectly fine. And by the way, they were no joke. I mean, we, you know, it was a Christmas gift for the in-laws, for her mom and dad, uh, to right, go so. to, to go see the uh, tenor that was in, in town. Um, 
Andrea Bocelli. Uh, Andrea Bocelli, yeah. Really good yes. seats for that. So it, it was no joke. And um, we thought for a fact there was going to be an issue, but it didn't turn out to be that at, at all, actually. And, and I think some people don't believe how easy it is to do a, dis, a dispute like that with your credit card. Usually it's a phone call that's less than three minutes. Sometimes you can do it from the app within the phone. You can dispute the charge right in there. You never have to talk to a person. Right, right. And the onus is on the, the vendor, the person that made the purchase. It's no longer on you. So that's where they're going to go back to next. You have so much more power in that transaction if you use a credit card, unlike a debit card. Or if you did flowers and they weren't delivered, you can just say, you know, this service was never delivered and get that full charge back through the credit card company. Love it. It's, this thing is, I got to tell you, I can't believe it took me so long to get on board because I, you know, you just kind of pre- procrastinate and you procrastinate. But once you start using it and understand how much it can work for you, it, it has been quite amazing. Now, you mentioned a second ago, I, I needed another credit card. Were you leaning towards I do. something? I think. No, I well, so that was my thing. I I think that I want to give you a specific uh, one to look at, but other than I've mentioned it a few times, the Amazon Prime card because you do still use Amazon, right? Oh I yeah, my wife is an Amazon but... queen. Yeah, for sure. We we, we, <laughs> we well, like, to be honest with you, I mean, if I'm just being dead honest, we we shop for a lot of stuff that we would get, like you know, paper towels, toilet paper. We just have that on a recurring. Uh, account because we use about the same every single time, so, so we don't you, we don't be purchase crazy stuff not like to that. get it. Yeah, yeah, honestly, because um, what is it, Jack? I think it was a hundred dollars last time you sign up for it, or it usually gives you back your Amazon Prime fee, and then you get five percent of all your purchases, all your Amazon purchases. Yeah, so and if then you're using per- Amazon that much, and two percent on gas and restaurants. Beyond that, when you're not using your Apple Card, we were just talking about getting groceries delivered. So, Jim, talk to me about these paper towels getting showed up to your front it's, door. No, those aren't groceries, buddy. Those are uh, commodities. Those are uh, those are dry goods, sundries. Those are. Look at Kroger, though. I mean, they do deliver. Yeah, I mean, we use Amazon for those things, you know, and stuff like that. So, yes. Stop. You have groceries yeah. delivered? No, I never, ever have groceries no. delivered. No, 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 not ever. How much do you think you spend on Amazon in a month? You know, I don't even know because that's my wife's thing. I, I really don't even know. I would, I couldn't, I, like, I don't even have access to the card. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> she, 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 that's her thing. She uses the Amazon account for our family. And do I you ask for I, permission? I don't need it. I don't, <laughs> what do I need it for? Bottom, bottom line, if you use Amazon a lot, not having an Amazon Prime card is, is almost it, criminal. It is criminal. I mean, yeah. and look, like, I'll give you an example. Like, the other day I needed an Apple, like, my uh, for my charger for my um, my laptop. The thing had just become frayed because I'd used it so long. Oh, it was yeah. almost not working. I just said, hey, baby, could you order one of those and have it shipped to me or whatever? And that's what she does. That's that's kind of what we use it for and just little stuff like that. You know, I mean. I tell you what, Jim, I, I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that um, I'm calling dibs on this right now, Jack. That Amazon Prime usually no, has a referral No, seventy-five dollars to me, Jim. Seventy-five dollars to me. And um, we'll know if you get the card. It, yes. No, I call dibs. No, because I, I already screwed this up once because I was supposed to recommend you for the Apple card. You were supposed to get like fifty bucks, right? Yeah, you didn't do that either. I didn't do that. No, no, but, no. Give it to Candace. Come on. Give, no, it's okay, Jack. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to feel like I took it from you. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's so, good. So if I sign up for my own Amazon Prime card, I have to use you as a recommendation, and you'll get a hundred dollar gift card. Yeah, I think I just have to plug in your email. Really? I can, yeah, and it'll send it to you. Really? Now, see, but that's where I'm, I'm sending I, it to see, you now. Jack, okay. Because <laughs> so, I, I know not to send it to the one because you won't reply. Yeah. <laughs> Real fast, I'm a little confused on something. So when you need paper towels, <laughs> you go. Hey, hey, wifey, it's time to order paper towels. Like, do you ever call her Alexa by accident? No, no, no. That is exactly what happens. Baby, we need paper towels. Baby, we need toilet paper. We need this kind of cleaner. We need this kind of thing. And she'll just go to Amazon Prime and order it. If it's not groceries, stuff we consume, like, I will get it at the grocery store. That's that's what we get. But if, we, if it's like a sundry item, we will order it from Amazon Prime. Well, there's good... so many other things you can get on Amazon, too. I mean, just just yeah. about everything, it seems now. Yeah, yeah. You can order a tiny house on Amazon. Yeah, and make a tiny house out of all the cardboard that you've <laughs> yeah. accumulated <laughs> from all yeah. the yeah. products. It's the only two things we get sent to the house, Jack. Lighten up. They've minimized their packaging. So much of it comes in those um, flimsy envelopes now. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what it all comes in now. Holly mailers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and in Orlando, they'll start dropping it by drones soon, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what they're saying. <laughs> That's going to be a hoot when that happens. <laughs> I want to order something just to get a drone hey, coming over. God almighty. <laughs> How many of those things are going to get shot out of the air the first month? <laughs> that's going to be such I a... I do think... 
<laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. It's just going to be such a moment when you like buy a pen off of Amazon, just like a, a pencil, just to see a drone fly and just drop off a pencil. Yeah, yeah. That's- We've already had instances where we were out of town traveling and there are cities like Washington, D.C., I think was one of them where they have two hour Amazon Prime. And like my husband forgot his charger and we were traveling and it was just you know, fifteen dollars to order one from Amazon Two Hour Prime, and it showed up at the hotel. Oh my god! It's just incredible. It seems like, it seems so. You know, the funny thing, it just seems so lazy, right? Right. It just seems so lazy. Well, go back to, all the the uh, Uber and and DoorDash and all that the I, the, the food delivery I stuff we were talking about earlier. I yeah. get it. It just seems like oh my! It just seems weird to have the smallest thing brought to your door. When you've done nothing to go out and get it or whatever, but I get it. It, it is what it is, but right. it, it's just kind of weird. It's a, it's acclimating to a new way of uh, purchasing, you know? And is Kroger the same way in Orlando? Like here in Jacksonville, there's no actual Kroger stores. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's, delivery. Right. it's only delivery. That, yeah. that blows my mind. Yeah, and but, we, we see that truck in our neighborhood all, all the, the time. time. It's cheap. It's good. The products are good. I used it, but... It, Doing food by, I prefer going into the store. So does my wife. Right. Uh, so it just didn't work for us. But the price and the products were good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I just wonder: are they going to Publix? You know, are they? Is are no, the they have, people? No, they have their <laughs> own. No, they, they have, have a they store. Have, they have warehouses, I've but never it's just seen a warehouse. It, yeah, it's just a big yeah. warehouse, yeah. With it, and they just kind of pick it from the warehouse and bring it. There it's, are no. It, it's a shed. <laughs> it's I, I'm constantly getting the coupons that say like you know forty five dollars, fifteen dollars off your first three tries, and it, so it seems silly not to try it. But um, now that Jack says he's tried it, yeah, because be you get five dollars off, so it's five dollars delivery, which you're getting free on that, and then another ten dollars off for yeah. those first three purchases. And do they have the oh. old, do they have they have yeah. good brands? I mean, it's not like you know, Absol- no, they have real brands, yeah. and but the store brands themselves yeah. are still good. Really, yes, nice. Yeah. All right. Because Kroger is the fame. That's like the Publix of up north. It is. It? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's huge. It's a I, good and it's a good shopping experience. I've been to one up there. We were just one in Atlanta recently on our little road trip, and it was it was beautiful. They're uh, trying to buy Aldi, but uh, not Aldi. Uh, they're trying to buy Albertsons. Yeah, yeah. But they're, they're trying to shut that down. Yeah. 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 Well, well Jim, I'm going to send you that referral for the uh, card. I sent it to him already. Yeah. <laughs> what? You, send yours, Candace. Send yours. Because I, <laughs> He's not going to use mine. I'd rather get one from somebody with brown hair than somebody with black hair. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. You meant red. <laughs> <laughs> my money is on Jim clicking the wrong link. <laughs> All right, you guys oh, give it up no. good, good and loud for Candace Rich. Yay! Oh, yeah. Thanks, Candace. Thank we appreciate you. it. Have yourself a great weekend. Tell your husband we said hi, and we'll look forward Thanks. to the great news you have next week. Oh, and hey, I do want to give a quick shout out to my brother. He is going to be DJing at Orlando Proper on Sunday from 7 to midnight. Yacht Rock Sunday. Old Jerry, hey. huh? Yes. Captain yeah. Jerry. Captain, Captain Jerry. Jerry. Captain Jerry out there. Very good. All right. Well, thanks again, Candace. Thank you. We'll see you soon. All right. 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's stop and go traffic on Florida's Turnpike southbound between County Road 33 and County Road 561. Authorities are clearing up an accident on the on ramp from Colonial Drive to I 4 eastbound. Expect delays due to an accident on I 4 eastbound near Fairbanks Avenue. And there's bumper to bumper traffic westbound on I 4 between State Road 429 and approaching US 27. See traffic troubles called the Valvoline Instant All Change Traffic Tip Line at 866 676 8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Marco's Pizza. When pepperoni is your favorite pizza, the only choice is Marco's Pepperoni Magnifico. Their fresh dough topped with signature sauce, three real cheeses, classic pepperoni, and crispy cupped old world pepperoni. Get a large now for just $9.99. Participation may vary. See store for details. We are not the banks.com sponsoring our Jim Colbert show question of the day. You find that in our YouTube chat just search jim colbert show on youtube vote we'll talk about it at the end of the program we are not the banks.com is where you go for your mortgage whether it's getting a mortgage for your next home or perhaps it's refinancing the home that you're in right now connect with brad siebert at we are not the banks.com 
I made that connection many years ago for my refi. It was a great process. Brad let me know everything I needed, every step of the way, every question I had. He had an answer. And it was a quick, easy process and got a great rate. We are not the banks.com. Loans for all types of buyers with all types of loans for all your mortgage needs. The website is we are not the banks.com. Get started today. And MLS ID number 66247 equal housing opportunity. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Make your dream of a new paver's driveway, pool deck, beautiful patio, and artificial turf a reality with Pavers Depot. Join us at the largest paver showroom in Central Florida. Over 400,000 square feet in stock including Tamron brand pavers. Pavers Depot can get your job done in just two weeks with a free estimate on custom installation. Visit online at paversdepot.com or call 407-839-5900. 407-839-5900. paversdepot.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit millsair.com. The PGA Tour's best will make their return to the Players' Championship March 12th through 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Secure your spot to see defending champions Scotty Scheffler and other top players battle to etch their name in history. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. McDonald's McCafe iced coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down and some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with the Delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. In this week's Marketer's Report, we learn about the value of local influencers in uncertain times. From Allison Griffin, head of marketing at State Farm. The economy is tough for everyone. And taking a step back and understanding the pain that your customers are currently going through because of a tough environment is really important. We have 19,000 agents across the country, and they understand what's going on in those very unique communities iHeart has such a broad broadcast reach that is local, connected, and for us to be able to touch customers with a local feel but at a national scale is so efficient and important for us. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeart Media is your access company. If you're a marketer, Go to iHeartResults.com. The hit true crime podcast, Paper Ghosts, is back with a haunting mystery in the shadows of the Ozarks. Season four unravels a darkly intriguing cold case from 1989 as a community continues to search for answers about a missing girl, various suspects, and a potential connection to BTK. It's gone from, okay, we don't think something's quite right to there's some worry going on now because now we've found some of her clothing. Listen to Paper Ghosts on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like the vinyl experience. 
music legends experienced through the authentic sound of vinyl. Baby, we the Rolling Stones, Tom Petty, Pink Floyd, The Police, and so many more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Vinyl Experience, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. New South Windows Solutions. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Hey, so apparently Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. The uh, whole organic label on something drives me absolutely insane. Uranium is organic. It's a nothing word. It means jack. Well, not Jack French, I just means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. I told you nothing, Jack. They're fighting. No, nah, he said I wasn't in nothing. <laughs> uh. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. Broadcasting from Maitland, Florida, here on Real Radio 104.1, as we do every single day. We appreciate you tuning in. There are a lot of choices out there. Thanks for choosing us. We deeply appreciate that. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack is here. <laughs> so is Ross. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself for sure. Um, I guess, uh, did you guys see that uh, DeSantis has signed a um, uh, some legislation to get the Epstein files released? Yeah. To completely get them released? How crazy is that, right? I mean, I, I, I'm interested to see what's going to be in that mess, if anything. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be a lot. For those um, who don't remember this was when jeffrey epstein uh, struck a sweetheart deal with prosecutors in south florida a deal that wasn't even presented to the victims to see if they agreed with it or not it was basically a work release program that allowed jeffrey to kind of go about and do his things during the day and sure just enough. show up at jail yeah. at night and go to sleep here and yeah he still had girls he's yeah. still Friends in high places yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. did everything yeah that was kind of the beginning of the end was when word of that you know that secret grand jury you know, and the grand jury transcripts, that's what's going to be released in that case. Yeah, that's exactly it. So you get to kind of see the moving parts of how that thing kind of came down. And didn't that uh, attorney general, didn't he kind of, uh, what happened to him? The guy, that w- the one that was down in Miami, didn't he get some blowback? He of that? did get some blowback, but I also believe he ended up in a um, higher position afterwards. Did he really? Yeah, wow. I believe so. Yeah, All right. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. So surprised. Yeah. Wow. All right. Friendly reminder, Jeffrey Epstein was arrested years before the big last arrest. Yeah, yeah. And then he got, like, house arrest. A little slap on the wrist. Right. And that, that's when Bill Gates got all the stuff that he got because he actually had meetings and conferences and dinners, I believe, with Epstein after that original. Right. Uh, after the original uh, information came out. That's one of the things that really kind of. Well, it made his wife go. Um, right. You can't kind of say you didn't know what right. he was all about. You definitely so knew. Right. Why are you hanging out? Right. He continued. And boy, if you want to see somebody get as uncomfortable as you can get during an interview, <laughs> watch that interview of Bill Gates. Who was the interviewer there? Do you remember? Who, I do not. But but basically straight up confronted him about his relationship with Epstein You've never seen anybody squirm and want to be out of a room more than watching Bill Gates react to that. It was, it was, look, here's the thing. You don't, I, I'm, I'm not making an ac- any accusations. It was pretty telling that oh, he yeah. was not happy at all uh, with that line of questioning, not in the least. And yet he knew he was going to be getting it. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. 407-916-1041. So go ahead. Alex Acosta was the U.S. Right. Attorney General. Right, right, right. Who kind of who allowed that to happen in Florida? Right, and got a lot of blowback from that, didn't he? Yeah, hey, I thought he lost that position down there for some reason. I thought he was actually, I thought he was asked to resign over that. If Alex Acosta was the, are you saying that was the state attorney that uh, he? It was the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Florida. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they're saying he, the judge, they investigated said he exercised poor judgment when he resolved a federal investigation into Jeffrey Epstein. Through a state-based plea agreement. But they didn't in get... In 2008. There you go. Uh, he ended up becoming um, a president. Uh, t- Donald Trump at the time nominated Acosta to be labor secretary. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was after. There you go. Okay. All right. Again, uh, 407-916-1041. So I wanted to go over this case because... Or this story because uh, I find this interesting. You know a lot about this stuff and I do not, Deb, uh, because you're kind of... you. I think that... You and Jack probably have a better grip on this than I do. But uh, Florida officials, um, so basically here's the two Irish national guys come to Florida, right? Hey. Two guys. Nice guys, young, good-looking dudes. Look at there. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, young, good-looking young men, probably in their mid twenties. Uh, actually, right at thirty and thirty-one, they come to Florida in April of twenty twenty-two, and they consume fentanyl-laced drugs. Uh, one of them fra- bought from a person they just met as they were looking to buy drugs, um, and uh, while taking it there in Pinellas Park, they died. They OD'd. So their employer discovers their body in the apartment while checking on them after they miss work. Right. And a funeral, a Florida funeral home shipped the men's remains to Ireland, according to a letter from a Florida medical examiner's office. One was cremated and one was not. Ugh. The problem is they cremated the wrong person. Oh, they cremated the wrong person. One was cremated. The other ones was not per the family wishes. But then just three months after their deaths, the men's family noticed discrepancies in the autopsy reports that led authorities to discover an error in the labeling of the remains. The men's families then discovered and realized that Mitchell's remains had been buried in the Comiskey family plot in Dublin. Uh, and the other gentleman was cremated. Now, here's my thing. They're both Catholic. And I thought that, and I'm not sure, isn't with Catholicism, you can't you can't get cremated as a Catholic? Not anymore. Not yeah. anymore. They, yeah. Did that used to be the case? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it did. Now, when did that change? The 60s. Did Wasn't it, it really? Was that Vatican II? Vatican II. With Vatican II met, they decided that cremains could now be allowed inside the church because before that, you couldn't have a funeral mass. I I don't even believe you could bring them inside the church. Uh, help me out, though. What is Vatican II? That would be a conference of all of the bishops, the pope, the cardinals. They changed some rules in the early 60s. It's like, like it, mass, like the priest, no, uh, yeah. before, like when my mom was growing up, the priest never faced the congregation. He always faced right. the crucifix with his back to the congregation, and the mass was always said in Latin. That's poor show. So after Man. Vatican II, they allowed the priest to turn around and face the congregation, and now the mass could be said in English. Got it, got it, got it. What Vatican are we at now? They haven't it's had the, another one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Vatican wow. II is yeah. so Updates are rare. It's like Megacon Catholic. Yeah, kind of thing, right? Right, just a lot of everybody gets together and kind of go. Is it? Do they set the rules for that? By the way, is that is that basically what that is? It's a conference to set new parameters for the religion. Well, if they see you know different societal changes, you know when cremation became, it's just like the LGBTQ plus issues that rise right, up yeah. in the church, right? Right, so right. You kind of have to get everyone together and go. Okay, well, how do we feel about this? See, this is still a big deal though, because we, I pulled the story because for and I didn't research it obviously because I did not know, I didn't want to know. But isn't there a certain religion where the you cannot be cremated? Is is that? Uh, I would believe it would be Judaism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with Judaism, you can't. I mean, if you have a tattoo, you can't be in a, a Jewish in a, cemetery. In a Jewish cemetery. Yeah, you cannot. Huh. But this still r- rises a, a crazy. I mean. It, well, well, if that's not what the family wanted right. I mean, done. What, well, what happens there? What well, do you do? Plus, not only that, how do you know that those are the... Re- I mean, if you made that mistake, then then how am I assured that the cremains that you've sent me are actually those... You know, I think of all these funeral home directors around the country who've gotten into bad financial times, and families are finding out that who they thought they had buried, they thought they buried their mother, was instead some random person. I mean, there was a case just uh, recently out in Colorado where they found a woman's body in the back of a hearse Oh yeah, for well, the last three years because the funeral homeowner, it, he owed so much money to crematoriums around town, no one would cremate her, but her family had received remains. Right. And do you remember the one that they the bodies were stacking up because the crematorium had broken and the guy yeah. couldn't afford to fix it, so rather than do that, and I don't know what he was giving his ashes or whatever, but we knew it was a mixture of a bunch of things. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and people are like, well, you just get it, whatever. Well, it's not the case. They put the body in a wooden box. It goes into the crematorium. Everything that's in the crematorium at that point is scraped out into uh, a bag that goes into a goes into a cardboard box, and that's what you're given unless you choose an urn. What are you laughing at? The word scrape. You use the word scrape. But that's I, the truth. I, I, mean, I, like, I, I get you are accurate. I just like how you use the word scrape. A uh, little fun factoid. Islam and Judaism are the two major religions that do not... Not do the whole cremation thing. Right. Now, how? Uh, just out of curiosity, Jack, if this would have happened to you, I mean, like, what what do you ask of that? Like, if you go to the, you know, if you find out that the funeral home here in Florida mislabeled the uh, the remains and sent you a, you know, a cremated child when you really didn't want it, it was supposed to be the other way around. I mean, what recourse do you have, really? 
I mean, what do you what, I mean, do, you, what do you do? You can't fix it. No, but you can't fix it. So, you, you know. are, are, are you looking for money? Are you looking to get paid? Hey, man, if it covers those, uh, you know, hefty uh, funeral costs, then uh, maybe that uh, takes a little of the sting out of it. Well, locally, there was the case of the mother who had found that her daughter's casket. Uh, remember, she it was labeled yeah. wrong. Or well, he yeah. was the state came in and investigated and shut him down. So maybe in that yeah. case, it would be to save a future family from the right. same heartache. Yeah, it, it, it's tough because you're talking the death of a child is that, that's your parents that, that that's a parent's worst nightmare. So I mean, through that tragedy alone, it, it kind of compounds the it's like the insult to injury there. But it's you know money's not going to solve it. But yeah, yeah. But, but again, there has to be some kind of some kind of well, it should be some penalty because they need to be held accountable for the mistakes that they're making because these are serious mistakes when it comes to, you know, uh, the grieving process for a family and, and, and their loved one. Yeah, and again, what if you were really, I mean, what if your religion was really against this? Like, yeah. what what if this was a situation where it was two Jewish fellas yeah. and this was, I mean, I, you know, and it, it is like now this guy can't be buried with his family. No. Yeah. I mean, that would be insane. Like, I don't yeah. even, how would you even, like, what steps? I mean, because here's the thing. They released this statement. You know, our office is very remorseful about the tragedy of the situation. That's what the office said. It says, obviously, they've been through a lot with the, the loss of their family member. And subsequent, uh, subsequently, they've been misidentified and the burial has been botched. You know, what do you do if this is a situation where your entire family for generations, and that's not uncommon in the U.S., by the way, you know, um, were in one plot or one area that's been designated for your family, and now your child cannot be buried with, you know, you, your mom, the grandparents. If you have a you family know. plot, they have to be buried at a different cemetery. Oh, my God, dude. I couldn't even imagine that. I wouldn't even know how to react to that. I don't think most families would. I mean, because I mean, there's you, nothing you can do to undo it. And the thing is, is and, and I would assume I do not, not, I do not know this is the case, but I would assume if they're that strict about burying them, then there's no digging them up and moving them to another place. I mean, not that it wouldn't matter because w- they wouldn't even allow wouldn't them to go to the ground. Right? Yeah, it matter. Again, if you have a tattoo, you can't be right. buried in a Jewish cemetery. So I don't rem- even think about cremation. I remember my English teacher in high school just randomly bringing that up. And she told the students to look at her tattooed legs. And then she was like, you know, I can't get married, buried. You know, I can't get buried because of these legs, these tattoos. They're going to have to lop them off. Now, open up your textbooks. <laughs> and it was such a weird moment. She was just having a day, I guess. Yeah, it's CNN reached out to both of the families. The Irish Department of Foreign Affairs says it's aware of the case and is providing consular assistance. Uh, spokesperson declined to provide additional information. Obviously, they think this is going to probably turn into some civil case. And even worse, you know, you're dealing with it overseas. Yeah. You know, two different countries, two different complete sets of laws and guidelines and restrictions. Or, you know, can you even sue? I mean, do you even have any action because of you're not here in this country? I, I don't know. And suing could mean incurred travel costs. Yeah, yeah. You know, outside of just the lawsuit costs. And, and the guy, they found the guy who sold him the fentanyl, and they charged him with two cases of first degree murder. Yeah, well, that's what's happening to drug dealers. And again, yeah. that, that helps that, uh, I think, is it the Federal Trade Commission that's going after the pill press companies? So that, you know, they can no longer sell the pill presses, right, pill yeah, presses yeah. that make you think you're yeah, we, buying a legit. Talked about Oxy. that a couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They shut that down, man. They got to. I just, yeah, because that's part of the reason, you know, people yeah. buy something they think is safe from a street dealer and it turns out to be, you know. And it says that, that they looked at the text exchanges from one of the victims and he said he, quote, getting powder. And I guess the guy says that he acknowledges to getting them cocaine, but he said, I didn't provide him any fentanyl at all. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Of course, they're gonna. They're, that guy's done so. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because guys, they're gonna make it an, make it an example out of this cat. But what, what do you guys want for your funeral? I don't remember if we talked about this. But Jim, you want a, like a banger of a party, a little funeral action? You know, my wife and I are actually debating on whether or not we want to be cremated or not. Actually, right now we're going with cremation. Um, but I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I, I think my wife wants to be cremated as well. It would be pretty cool if both of you guys got cremated and then like poured into the same cylinder. Oh, together forever. Yeah. Aww. What about the timing of it? Oh, it will be off. I mean, okay, let's Jim st- will okay. be on the bottom okay, half let, of the let, cylinder. Let's, let's stop there for a second. What, what do you mean? You're going to be on the bottom half. Now, why would you say that? Because you are definitely going out first. Hey, buddy, listen. It's just a numbers game. You got her beat by like, what? what is it? I, my heart broke the life imaging laser. <laughs> yeah. 
It broke it. Okay. <laughs> when it looked at it, it said, oh, Jesus, he's here. I mean, Jesus? I, that's one way to look at a laser breaking. It's Jason Bourne of heart. <laughs> he's not Jesus Christ. All right, Jason Bourne's, Bourne's heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Load them up for trivia. We have something cool to give away. I'll tell you what that is right after this. We have a prize. Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. Is it time for the Packers to give Jordan Love a big extension? That's the word. Love was great for about 9-10 games. He should get credit for the big playoff road win in Dallas and exceeding expectations. But now opposing teams have film on him, all of them, and he becomes the number one target for those DCs. Love is inching closer to deserving a new deal. Let's see if he can keep it rolling. What's the hurry? I'm Colin Cowherd. Now, during Staples Citathon, you can save up to $180 on select chairs, desk chairs, computer chairs, even gaming chairs. In store only, offer ends 3 2. See Associates for details. Stop by Staples today and grab a seat. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at the Filatowski Eye Institute. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK surgery, they're going to tell you it's the best thing they ever did. And more than often, they'll add they should have done it way sooner. That's exactly what my father-in-law said. Got his surgery at around 58 years old. When he got done two days later or a day later, he was like, it was magical. Like just calling me on the phone every 20 minutes, laughing hysterically at how well he could concentrate and how well he could focus on things. Glasses gone, concentrate. Contact's gone. If you deal with that bad eyesight, what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. And all you have to do for your appointment is text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures. They use the latest state-of-the-art technology. You get a great response every single time. And these guys are great at getting vision good and getting you back into a better life. Finances, they got you covered there as well. 24 Four month interest free financing is available. Simply text 1041 to 868686 and schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Your path to better vision begins now. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Can you imagine buying a TV or a car, using it for a year or two, and then taking it back to trade it in for a new model, and the retailer gives you a full refund plus an extra 10% toward the new one? Yeah, never happened, right? But it does happen at International Diamond Center with our 110% diamond upgrade guarantee. It works like this. When you buy any diamond at IDC and keep it for at least a year, we'll give you back 110% of your original purchase when you decide to upgrade to a larger stone. For example, you buy a diamond today for $5,000. When it's time to upgrade, IDC will give you $5,500 toward the new diamond. That's guaranteed 10% appreciation when you trade up. Think about it. IDC will give you more than you paid us for the first diamond. This is for any engagement ring center stone as well as all diamond solitaire pendants and all diamond stud earrings. You get 10% more value when you trade up. Just another example of how we stand behind everything we sell. International Diamond Center. Get locations, directions, and store hours at shopidc.com. Ah, winter. With its cold, dry air causing that not-so-nice winter nose feeling. Thankfully, you don't have to wait for warmer weather to clear sinus congestion and send winter nose packing. All you need is Navage Nasal Care. Navage helps soothe the inflamed nasal passages that are often part of colds and infections. It flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your sinuses to give you the soothing moisture you need. Navage also sucks out the other irritants trapped in your nose. Viruses, dust, bacteria, and germs, too. Winter might feel like it drags on forever, but Navage works quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. No decongestants required. Navage is a drug-free solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today and make winter a little more bearable. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target.
Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-522-5700, 800-522-5700. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. This Black History Month and every day, UNCF uplifts the history and culture of the African-American community and salutes the past, present, and future of excellence and high achievement at historically black colleges and universities. As we celebrate our 80th anniversary, UNCF remains effective and steadfast in supporting HBCUs to consistently graduate outstanding Americans of all backgrounds. Go to uncf.org slash donate to support the new generation of black activists, leaders, artists, business owners, and educators, because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> Want more from us? At The Jim Colbert Show on Instagram. Follow us. Happy Friday, Jim Colbert and Company. It's Concrete Mike. I was just talking with a coworker today because his dad is born on Leap Day. Uh, he is no longer with us, but we were discussing what you do about the birthday. My take on this is if it was not Leap Day, it would technically have been March 1st. So Leap Day babies on non leap years should celebrate on March 1st. What do y'all say? I don't know. It is the 60th day of the year, whether it's the 29th or March 1st. All right. So by that, by counting the days, it would be March 1st mm -hmm. on non-leap year years. Damn. I don't know. All right, 407-916-104. You're, you're good with that? Seven, six, I don't have any problem with it, buddy. All right, Listen, you're that's... not fighting for the 28th? <laughs> no, I'm not right. fighting for the 28th. We're no. good. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is. Yeah. And Ross has the sauce jar. Y'all aboard. Chugga, chugga. Choo, choo. Clickety, clack, clickety, clack. Click click click. I said chickety, clack, chickety, clack. Chicken, good. I have a beautiful. Chicken, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's better. I have a beautiful pair of tickets to see Thompson Gora at the Kia Center, <laughs> March 14th. I had a small stroke there. And that is your sauce jar, which is always brought to you by... Cento Family Moving and Storage. Go local and support a family-owned and operated Orlando Moving and Storage Company. Just make sure you mention the Jim Colbert Show so you can get a discount. Book them today at centomoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O, moving.com. Chickity clack back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. I appreciate that very much. You had to think about that one. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes first today, buddy? She's not used to being that wrong. Let's welcome. <laughs> let's welcome Christian. We Christian. were just talking about him. right there at the bottom. Christian, how you doing, buddy? I'm wonderful. And yourself? I'm doing just great. Would you like to play a little game with us? Of course, yes. Let's, let's do help. it. <laughs> game show. All right, Christian, this is a really easy game. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of those is a lie. Oh. If you can find it, I will send you to the sauce jar. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, buddy, here we go. On this day in 1872, 1872, Yellowstone becomes the very first national park in the world. That's right. Here are three fun facts about Yellowstone National Park and one old faithful lie. Oh, good one. Number one. 
Yellowstone's hot springs are so hot and acidic, they can dissolve a human body in a single day. <laughs> Number two, in the parks... Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, excuse me. I, I wrote this incorrectly. My apologies. Let me make one quick change here, guys. My apologies. Um, there we go. Number two, in the park's early days, visitors would come to watch bears eat garbage. They even built stands to sit and watch. Number three, Yellowstone became a park before Illinois, Oklahoma, and Idaho became states. Or lastly, Yellowstone National Park is bigger than Delaware and Rhode Island combined. Which of those is a lie? Well, I'll go with number one. No, number one is absolutely Who true. Is that guy? I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> I love so him. True. I feel like buying an elixir I, from him. I know. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. like you, Christian. Yeah, Yellowstone hot springs are so acidic and hot, they can dissolve a human body in a single day. That is 100% true. Ew. Who's next? Wow. I'll go with Cliff. Cliff, right there on line three. Cliff, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, buddy. We're talking about Yellowstone National Park. Which of these is untrue? Number one, in the park's early days, visitors would come to watch bears eat garbage. They even built stands to sit and watch. Number two, Yellowstone became a park before Illinois, Oklahoma, and Idaho became states. Or lastly, Yellowstone National Park is bigger than Delaware and Rhode Island combined. I'm going to say number three is a lie. No, that's true, buddy. Yeah, Yellowstone Park is bigger than Delaware and Rhode Island combined. Sorry, Caliph. That's right. Who's next, buddy? Let's welcome Jason. Jason right there on line two. Jason, how you doing? Great. How are you? Good, buddy. You got a 50-50 shot at winning these tickets. We're talking about Yellowstone National Park. Which of these is untrue? In the park's early days, visitors would come to watch bears eat garbage. They even built stands to sit and watch. Or lastly, Yellowstone became a park before Illinois, Oklahoma, and Idaho became states. Uh, second one. That's the one, buddy. You're a winner. Yay! Yay! You are a winner. There are three states, but I erased them and cannot remember what they are now. <laughs> I, I, I know Idaho's one. I think Montana and Wyoming are the others. Okay. So it's Monta- Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho uh, were not even states when Yellowstone was made the first national park in the world. And it is true in the early, in the park's early days, That's visitors didn't come so much to see the natural natural stuff. They came to watch bears consume garbage, and they built a stands so you could come and sit and watch. How sad is that? People. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So but we true. learned that was a long time ago. We yeah. adapted. People hey, better. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, no. A few other things you may not know about Yellowstone before we get over to Ross Thoughts. I'm trying. Yellowstone is <laughs> Yellowstone is uh, home to half of the world's geothermal features. So when it comes to hot springs, geysers, any of these natural, you know, hot water things, features, we have more of them. Half of them are run one spot right here in the U.S., Yellowstone. Uh, in the 1880s, the Washburn Langford Doan expedition threw their clothes into Old Faithful to wash them. <laughs> They found out that when you threw the clothes in the geyser, the hot water mixing with them coming up through the geyser being shot into the air actually washed their clothes. The only problem was this. What what clothes do you think held up the best? Cotton, linen, or wool? A oh, wool. I'll go linen. I'll go cotton. Cotton and linen did the best. Wool got destroyed every time. Really? Yeah, it would destroy the wool, but it, the cotton and the linen uh, garments would get clean, and they would hold up to the to the hot water and the action of coming in and out of the geyser. Oh, it probably shrank the wool so much you couldn't wear it. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, Yellowstone is home to the largest concentration of... Uh, buffalo. Nah. Uh, mosquitoes. Uh, bears. Uh, moose. Uh, d- uh, uh, donkeys. Wild horses. Zoysia grass. Yeah. Daisies? Please stop, Jack. Yellowstone is home to the largest concentration of mammals. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. in, the, in the lower 48 states. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the, the most mammals yeah. in any one spot. They got a lot of grass, too. <laughs> yeah, they have some grass, Jack, for sure. Yellow, Yellowstone, easily <laughs> uh, top four place that I've been to in my life to see with my own eyes. Yeah, I guess there's another Ugh. park that I, I can't remember which one it is that's r- kind of near that that is also equally as um, uh, amazing, apparently. the There is a mere... God Almighty! Because here's the thing: I didn't, I don't, I didn't know what I was getting into when I went to Yellowstone. You know, I just thought, oh, it's a park. Yeah. It's so that's so wild. It, it's like 
45 parks in one park. Yeah, 900 hiking miles. Yeah, there are trails. so many things to look at that yeah. as long as you just drive 20 minutes within, you're, you're still in Yellowstone. Yeah. And then I'll never forget, I saw it was called like the, the Mirror Pool or Prismatic prismatic yeah, you fountain know, the one that has the colors it looks like a bullseye uh, yeah it's yeah, yeah. It, it looks insane it looks like you are on a different planet that's exactly and, right and it's really cool to see this limited edition earth that can really only <laughs> be found that's right in yellowstone that's right there you're 100 it's a giant super volcano um and at some point in yellowstone the magma is just three miles below the crust yeah Pretty darn close. What's coming up for thoughts, boss? All right, man, we're going to keep the positivity train going, guys. I compiled some of my favorite things in life, some underrated things, some things that need to be reappreciated. I like this. All right? So if you're down in the dumps and you're like, man, nothing is going my way. I don't like anything. I got you. Here's some things that you may have overlooked. And it's time to reappreciate. I love this. We'll do this next here on the Jim Colbert Show. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Watch out for bumper-to-bumper traffic on Florida's Turnpike southbound between County Road 33 and County Road 561. Stop and go traffic westbound on I-4 between US 192 and Osceola Polk Line Road. Authorities are clearing up an accident causing a bit of delays on Colonial Drive westbound before Avalon Road. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Quitting tobacco isn't easy. The good news is Tobacco-Free Florida is here to help you quit your way. Tobacco-Free Florida's group quit service offers free virtual and in-person sessions at convenient times and locations. You may be eligible to receive free nicotine replacement therapy like patches, gum, or lozenges. You are not alone. Whatever your reason to quit is, Tobacco-Free Florida can help you get started. Call 1-877-YOU-CAN-NOW. Torres on his left foot shoots! He scores! Orlando City is on the road next weekend as the Lions travel south to take on rival Inter-Miami on Saturday, March 2nd at 4.30 p.m. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. And the Lions return home on Saturday, March 9th at 7.30, taking on Minnesota United, presented by Dex Imaging. The match will be a celebration of our 10th season in Major League Soccer. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com or tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Can I make my side softer? Can I make my side firmer whenever I want? Can Can we we sleep sleep cooler? Sleep Number does that. Cools up to eight times faster and lets you choose your ideal comfort on either side. 94% of Sleep Number Smart Sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. Save 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed and Sunday. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-561-2600 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 1-800-561-2600. This is trial attorney Jeff Coppin from the Injury Law Firm of Coppin & Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. 
In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. Cento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply in select markets only. Auto pay and paper free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Industrial Rock Trailblazers Ministry Live, Saturday, March 23rd, 7 p.m. Hard Rock Live, Orlando. I can't hear you! With Gary Newman and Frontline Assembly. On sale now at Hard Rock Live Box Office and Ticketmaster. Portions of the following program were pre recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio now comes with moving pictures. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Mm. 14 almonds, less sodium sea salt, blue diamond. Mm. American Heart Association, right on the front. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And so is Jack. Yep. And Ross has some thoughts. Let's get them. It's weird. It's funny. Sometimes it's Ross. Spelled like sauce. It's Ross Thoughts. There are things that we get happy about. There are things that we get sad about. And a lot of people take drugs for things that make them sad. But you don't need to be taking drugs for sadness. I mean, some of you do. Let's call it for what it is. Some of you are... <laughs> I was going to say, buddy, you're going to back that one up. Really <laughs> on the edge. <laughs> really on the edge. Really, yeah, yeah. really, yeah, really yeah. need some drugs. But some yeah. of us kind of just need a little reminder of that. Maybe some of the things in our life we've been kind of taking for granted. All right. You know, there's a lot of small things that we absolutely adore that we've talked about in the past already, like easy two-step authentication codes. Yes. God, that feels good when that that two-step comes in. It's like one one. Zero five five one, and you're mm-hmm. like, oh god, that's a lot of ones. I, I can do this. That's super easy oh, yeah. to remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've talked about uh, too many things, but I have another batch of things that I think need to be reappreciated. All right, it's time to reappreciate. What do you guys think about that? I love that. Do you guys like some production? I, I like that pre-roll. Like that? That's good. You like that? I made that in about six minutes before the start of the show. That is my iPhone microphone. Guys, the first thing that we need to reappreciate for how great it is. Everyone knows it. It always comes complimentary. It's so good. It's There's very few free things in our life. 
But when you order soup and it comes with crackers. Oh, soup yeah. Soup and crackers, oh, man. Oh, my God. Almighty. Shout out to the MVP of that Jack and Rose romance that is the crackers. I don't care when it first hits the soup and it's all, like, still hard and salty. That's mm-hmm. that's a fun time. That but is. I also like it when the cracker needs a Zoloft and gets sad. <laughs> you know, like, you know, it starts getting real flaccid and a little gummy. A little blue pill action. Yeah, yeah. When, when the cracker in the soup needs a blue pill... That's when I get hungry. Oh, yeah. So, and, and Deb and I are soup monsters. We you, love soup and crackers. We eat it almost three times a week. You're the crackers. I don't do crackers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them, though, man. I got you so observant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, Deb, <laughs> I should. I almost asked Deb what are her favorite ca- uh, crackers, but I listened. Jim, <laughs> it, what it's, is it? It's us. Yeah, yeah. Jim, what is your go-to cracker? Uh, saltine, baby. I'm just saltine. a plain saltine guy. Oh, saltine. For good. soup? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, yeah, a big, I'm a big oyster guy. I'll I, never forget when I ripped a couple oysters in some soup. I like oyster crackers as well. Oyster crackers, think, they're, they're like little fun good, octagons. For me, it's a delivery method of whatever the solid is in the soup, but they only give you like either two or four crackers. I need like half a sleeve. I tell you, man, the <laughs> oyster crackers also go well as a replacement for croutons and salads. Yes. Yeah. Less fat yes. and a little saltier. Really good. All right. Moving on. All right. Oh, yeah. It's time to reappreciate. It's time to reappreciate whenever you unwrap the tinfoil flawlessly off of a mini Reese's cup. Oh, man. So it comes off in one square? When yeah. it comes off in one, no tinfoil shredding. You can really map this over to anything else that's tinfoiled. Yes. But whenever you unwrap something flawlessly mm. when it's tinfoil based, very few times do you ever take a moment and go, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm right. killing it. It's, it means you took your time. T- you were yeah. patient, patient. You know, you exactly. You got your, you know, namaste on on That's your tinfoil. Right. One, one little corner it, here, one little corner there. It used to be yodels were wrapped in foil. And then you can do it with that piece of foil. And then what we would do, it's almost like origami uh-huh. with foil. You know, and then it's like my sister would always make a rose and I'd make a ball. The most famous <laughs> foil wrap candy is. Rolo? No. Rolos is one. That's one. But but, but Rolos were sealed. You yeah, remember they, they, they were sealed. individually. They weren't, uh, the Hershey's Kiss, my friend. Yeah, the oh, Hershey's oh, Kiss. It has yeah. to be the king. I mean, that's the king of that, right? Is getting Because to me, yeah. because they twist them up, if you get the Hershey Kiss undone, that to me, that's like Rubik's Cube for me. <laughs> it is kind of weird that Hershey Kiss is kind of like when you take the tinfoil out, it's kind of sexy, right? <laughs> like, like you're pulling the string. Kind of like a bra strap kind of thing. Maybe that's just me. It is just you. <laughs> Moving on. Time to reappreciate something else. It's time to reappreciate. To- Wind. Wind? <sighs> a breeze. A breeze. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I listen, I it's been going around forever. I'm happy that you guys are showing love to wind. You need it for... Sailing, sailing, <laughs> kites, right, uh, think, solar power. Think yeah. about all the season. Or how about wind power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so wind power. That's yeah, what yeah. I mean. God, that, yeah. that we are live. The wind blows the sun <laughs> towards the pad. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm trying so hard, dude. The wind like blows the sun. Like, <laughs> but yeah, but, but, but you know what? The funny thing is, in Florida, if you live in this state and you've ever sat out in back of your home oh. during the summer and you're just kind of sitting in there and you're sweltering, and then you get that little trickle of breeze, man. Oh, that's a nice breeze. That's yeah. a nice little breeze. That feels nice. Yeah. Th- think, it all, think about all the, the spices and seasonings we've traded through the power of wind oh, as yeah. a species. That's right. Through solar power. God, these two pills are hitting. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, uh, it's time to re... Woo. It's time to reappreciate. You guys are going to love this one. Whenever you eat a burrito or a taco and nothing drops. Oh, oh my yeah. God. That That's doesn't even happen. happen. Is that possible? Dude, it's possible. <laughs> that doesn't even you happen. You got to believe in yourself. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it never happened. Hey, I've got the laundry to prove you wrong. <laughs> Dude, it's a thing. I have mastered the technique of burrito anti-drop. You have made fun of me in the past for it because you've seen me eat a burrito. Right, right. Is that you can eat a burrito without anything dropping. But it looks like you're eating. It looks like a squirrel eating a nut. Not trying to spill any. Well, so you can't. Yeah, so the, you're talking about the ball technique. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is, oh. but now it's all going to be all over your hands. Okay. If you go like hamster burrito ball, mm-hmm. but if you go burrito suckle technique, I've brought this up to you guys before, and you really did not like it. 
I don't like the way it sounds. It sounds awful. Yeah. Burrito suckle? Yes, that sounds terrible. You're missing out. So a lot of people just go bite, chew, 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 chew. No, 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 no. Mouth it, grab the ingredients, but leave the tortilla. <laughs> Nobody does that. You sound stupid. You need to be 18 or over to watch <laughs> that. No joke. So you, so you, you mouth, need to have a you parent think present for you that. Think it, you think a Hershey's Kiss is sexy. <laughs> so, show me a girl so, gumming a burrito. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basically gumming the burrito. You're yeah, yeah. taking the bite, but without teeth, and then the mouth just grabs the, you know, the, the protein, hey. beans, We're rice. We're still talking about burritos? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Four truckers are currently pulling over right now. <laughs> uh, uh, real fast, which one's easier to do? Eat flawlessly anti-drop burrito. Burrito or taco? It's burrito. Burrito, right? Because yeah, it's burrito. got a cylinder. It's got an ass to it. Right, right, right. Uh, taco is just, <sighs> just out there. Just losing everything. It's Sorry, so now that you've talked about mouth suckling a burrito, I'm going with taco. <laughs> People know about the mouth suckle burrito technique. <laughs> yeah, it's a, sub, uh, it's a subcategory. You got to spend a couple of years in Tibet. Guys. It's time to reappreciate. They made commercials out of this. This was a huge deal, but it deserves to be talked about and reappreciated even more. The first sip of coffee. Oh, oh yeah. God oh. almighty, dude. I know I'm mean, getting I know I'm getting older because that first sip of coffee is like yes. Oh. Yes. Oh yes. my god. Like I get way too pumped up for that first sip. Uh, just Nothing pick- else can happen in your day until let oh yes. Picture me standing in front of my uh, coffee machine every morning. And actually licking the spoon I'm stirring my coffee with to get that first, first, like, just injection of caffeine. You get pumped, oh. dead, first sip of coffee. What does it do to you? It brightens up my day. <laughs> Virtually it doesn't off. make me, yeah, I'm not over there. <laughs> does it make you want to suck a burrito? Well, I'm certainly not over there making love to my spoon. <laughs> All right. Do you get that on camera? You need new spoons. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's... And consent. I'll tell yes. you. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that's how you animate licking a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to reappreciate. I gotta give you something. It's super expensive. We absolutely get advan- We get taken advantage of whenever we go to a movie theater. But popcorn in a movie theater, you gotta reappreciate it. I understand they're charging four dollars a kernel. Still, it doesn't taste it, as if you can't. You gotta go with it. It doesn't. Can I tell you something? The movie's worse if you don't get popcorn. <laughs> I, I, I don't. If you go to watch Shawshank and you don't get popcorn, you're like, oh, that sucked. Yeah, <laughs> but if you get popcorn, it's the best movie ever. Every movie is better with popcorn. And can I tell you? You can come from dinner straight to the movie, and you have to get popcorn. It doesn't matter. It's it's a must. I don't know what to do with my hands <laughs> if I'm in a movie theater and not eating popcorn. I just throw them up. I just I, I start flailing. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh, it's, do you do you do butter or no? I do butter, and I learned about the internet technique of putting the straw. We talked about right, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you put the straw into the butter, so then. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you straw up the butter dispenser. Right, so right, right. So the butter then goes through the straw and hits it in the heart of the popcorn. That's right, right, right. what you got to do. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't put any butter on mine. Oh, I'm yeah. just a straight Heathen. salt kind of guy, man. Yeah, it's too messy. It's too much. It's too messy. Mm-hmm. It's too, it is too messy. It hurts your stomach. All right. Well, thank God we have this established. It's time to reappreciate. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what even how to describe it, but the sink Mesh, belly button, food grabber. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, I've you, got two of those. Yeah. Yes, you need to fall back in love with that little contraption. <laughs> but yes. It's a lifesaver. It's yes, beyond a lifesaver. You have never taken a moment and went, "Wow, this thing is really killing it, really pulling its weight when it comes to its role in my life in all of our lives." The little belly button swoop. What is it? I don't. Sinkerator. Sinkerator. Yeah, sinkerator. The, the in sinkerator is your food disposal. Yeah, it's just the screen that goes in the drain of the other sink. Yeah. If you have a dual sink, one has the disposal. The other one, you're trying to prevent food from going down. It's a little round screen yeah, yeah, that yeah. dips in but stays in place. Oh yeah. The water through and catches all the food. It's yeah. magical. It's magical. You gotta yeah. have one. And, and here's the thing: we say it's magical. It's not. It just holds stuff and lets yeah. water go through it. Yeah, probably costs a dollar fifty to manufacture. If that, but that little metal oh. mesh camel back hump thing 
Genius. has saved all of our food dispensers. So good. And Genius. you definitely have been overlooking that little metal hump mesh thing in your sink. Oh. And just time to reappreciate. It's time to reappreciate. The metal mesh hump. Those are your <laughs> raw thoughts. I'm out. Peace. All right, buddy. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. There's some travel terms out there I'd never heard of. And we'll go over those next and see if you can find out what they are. We'll do that right after this. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 8 p.m., it's Bungalow or in the bus. And at 9, we all find out what the hell is Angel listening to. Tonight on Real Radio 104.1. Watch out for bumper-to-bumper traffic due to an accident. All lanes are blocked northbound between Oakland Exchange and Hancock Road. There's stop-and-go traffic westbound between US-192 and after Osceola Polk Line Road. And authorities are clearing up an accident on Colonial Drive westbound before Avalon Road. The left lane is blocked. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Your neighborhood tools, Ace Hardware, has everything you need for spring. That's right now through, well, right now, February 29th, all the way. You get the best prices on that made for Florida Sunnyland fertilizers, miracle Grow soils, Roundup Weed and Grass Killers, Yard Tools, and more. Cypress mulch, four, ba- four bags for only $10 all month long. And don't forget to bring in your steel outdoor power equipment and one of Tools Ace Hardware's 10 service centers for that tune-up for spring. It's Tools Ace. They have a 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, or you can stop online, shop online at acehardware.com and get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. The Players' Championship is back at TPC Sawgrass, March 12th through 17th. Don't miss your chance to see the PGA Tour's top players competing on the iconic stadium course, home to the famous Island Green 17th hole. Watch the drama unfold as the battle for the Players' Championship trophy takes place in Ponta Vedra Beach, Florida. Secure your spot to see defending champion Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy, Victor Hovland, and more today. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. Why are you dressed like a hockey goalie in our living room? Well, you know how I said that we really needed to save more? So you're dressed like a goalie because you make saves? Yes. Maybe we should just go to Navy Federal Credit Union. They have tons of great savings and investment options, like share certificates with sky-high rates. Oh, what a save! (sighs) Grow your finances with the official military appreciation partner of the NHL, Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Savings products insured by NCUA. Investment products are not insured, not obligations of Navy Federal, and may lose value. This is Monster Jam. Witness big air, two-wheel skills, backflips, and all-out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best riders tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks, like Rave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big-time fun for the whole family. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Coming to Camping World Stadium this Saturday. Brought to you by BKT Tires, Great Clips, Circle K, your local Ford dealers, and Morgan & Morgan. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-386-7194 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-386-7194. History is beautiful, brutal, and often 
ridiculous. Join me, Ben Bullen. And me, Noel Brown, as we dive into some of the strangest stories from across the span of human civilization in ridiculous history. Whether we're exploring the accidental invention of hold music or how people used to rent pineapples, join us to hear the many ways history can be oh so ridiculous. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you find your favorite podcast. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. If you look at the ingredients of things in our food packages compared to Europe, uh, side by side, you, you could, there's so many things in our ingredients compared to theirs for the exact same product. I don't understand why. I mean, I do understand, but it is what it is. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us. At 77031. I am Jen. Deb is here. Hello. Jack. Yep. And Ross. It's true. Uh, we did have a little bit of breaking news. It's not the best news ever, guys, but uh, we try to keep you abreast of things that are happening here locally, news stories that have carried over from day to day. Deb? Yeah, and unfortunately, a couple of different sources, both Channel 9 and Fox 35, have announced that a body has been discovered in rural Osceola County. And although they have not confirmed that it is indeed the missing 13-year-old Madeline Soto, it is believed to be her. It is the area that uh, Stefan Stearns, her mother's boyfriend, was last seen driving in the area between 1 and 2.30 in the afternoon on Monday. Um, and as luck would have it, he had a flat tire and was seen changing his tire in that area. Wow. So if you were in that area, I'm waiting for my phone to bring up uh, the exact location. But like I said, rural Osceola County, if you were around that area Monday afternoon and you think you may have saw the guy, they they, they want to hear from anyone yeah. and everyone. And how do you date these days? Like, how do you find somebody and and how do you guarantee the safety of you and your family? If you, you know, if you're a divorced single mom, you're out there with a couple of kids and you're trying to find somebody to, you know, to have a life with. Just, you know, somebody and you and you go through the process of finding somebody, you date somebody for years. They see years. Yeah, they seemingly years. are good people. But the, and the, and that's the thing, it's like when you, when you hear of a tragedy like this, first you, you look at the mugshot, then you hear about the person's history, and you look for the clue that would have tipped you off. Right. But there on the face nothing. of it, there's no real outstanding thing thing that stands out about this guy with no record, uh, you know, uh, a job and and uh, no history of any no. sort of uh, of violence. Yeah. The only thing that we could think of, Jimmy and I were talking about this before the show, like what what could have driven this man to commit this act? The only thing I can think of is that, you know, the two charges he he is facing um, is explicit videos and uh, and photos of reportedly child sex abuse material that was committed in the family home in Kissimmee. Um, they haven't talked about who the victim is. We can assume it may have been, and maybe she told him, I'm going to tell my mom. Yeah, or she discovered what he, you know, his secret, whether right. it was on the computer or something, or he, you know, did something with her and, and you know, he couldn't control her. Because he said he, quote, unquote, accidentally did a factory reset on Monday, <laughs> the same day that she had gone missing. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like we mentioned earlier, he has been transferred to the Osceola, Osceola County Jail. Kissimmee, being that that's where the reported sex crimes took place, they had already taken the lead on this case because those were the only two charges, are the only two charges he's facing at this moment. Of course, once there's confirmation that they did discover Madeline Soto's body this afternoon, he will most likely be facing a murder charge. But he has not uh, been willing to face the judge, hasn't been willing to talk right. to investigators. He wouldn't even go in for arraignment, nothing. Nothing. He has just simply said he wants his attorney, and that's it. He is offering, well, he offered no help yeah, no, to nothing. the family. And that child's mom, in five days, where has she gone from Sunday until today? Sunday she had a family of three, and now it's what? Monday afternoon at yeah. 4.30 she shows up to pick up her daughter at her school, and the school yeah. says, oh, she's not only not here, but she wasn't here the entire day. Oof. And then last night, Kissimmee investigators had to go to her home. Obviously, they're not going to let us report 
on the fact that the sheriff and other law enforcement officials believe she is dead without her being notified first. Right, yeah. They had that horrible job of breaking that news to yeah, her yeah. last night. Incredible, man. I mean, no way to see it coming. That's the thing that makes it so unbelievable. That's why I was saying earlier, like, you know, if you're a single mom out there and you're trying to find somebody to, you know, enjoy your life with, right. you know, to just share to, your life with, to share your love with and yeah. life with. And, you know, the dating pool is so poisonous. And you, you think, just don't and you, know and, the and, intentions of the people that are. And again, this guy had nothing in his background. If, if she had, you know, done all the Internet searching that you have to do now when you date someone. Right. You've got to do anything. a background check before you even go out on your first and, date. And ironically, probably thought, hell, man, I must have a good one. He's a good guy. Yeah, doesn't have any, you know, no, no priors, no nothing like that. And no. again, it's not a new relationship. They'd been together for years to the point that at one point in the uh, arrest affidavit, Jennifer Soto, Madeline's mother, had referred to Stefan Stearns as Madeline's stepfather. Even though they weren't married, they, you know, were boyfriend and girlfriend, but it was a familial relationship, so nothing yeah. about this offered Jennifer any any idea the hell that was going to visit her home. Somebody just texts in, do not, not in all caps, read the arrest affidavit on this POS. So I don't know if there's information in there that will... Uh, oh, yeah, they detail what was in the... In the phone and everything? Yeah. And and interestingly enough, you know, they've they've moved away from calling it child pornography. It's child sex abuse material. Right, right, right. And the it's a reason, rebrand. Well, the reason behind that is because pornography is generally thought of something where those the two people in it have given consent. Ah. Ugh. Whereas when you come to child sex abuse material, that's right, there, right, there right. is no ability for consent. So it's you'll see it referred to that way in the in the press. Right. All right, 407-916-1041. We'll keep you abreast of any other information we hear before we get off the air. And yeah. Until then, we'll give you a news report on Monday uh, of what's happening in that case. All right, so uh, we were talking about travel terms. I wanted to hit you with a couple of these and see if you guys can figure this out. These are new, um, and um, I say new. Some of them are a little bit older, and some of them I've never heard of. A couple of them I have heard of. Let's see how many you can get through. What do you think, if you're going on a trip and it's for bleisure, What's a bleisure trip? Nice. What's a bleisure trip? Uh, it's pretty business easy. Business and leisure. There you go. Business and leisure. That's it. A hybrid oh. trip that, that blends business and pleasure. <laughs> I misread that. Uh, it says Brooks Thinking Brothers. Thinking about my spoon thing earlier, <laughs> weren't you? It's Brooks Brothers Suits and Surfboards, it says. There so you it's go. A, any travel that uh, you use vacation days, go do a little work. And then, of course, you have some time to step off and do something you enjoy as well. That's a bleisure trip. Pretty easy for one, right? Yeah, yeah. What's a buddy moon? A uh, buddy moon A buddy is, moon. Uh, it's, a, it's like a honeymoon, but for best friends. Go ahead. Guess. No, that was my yeah, guess. Yeah, I like his guess. I, was gonna be yeah. I, I yes. want to sign on to that. Yeah, what do you think? This one's actually kind of odd. Oh, is this where instead of a honeymoon, you bring your friends along and everyone oh. goes on the buddy moon? There you go. That's oh. exactly what it is. When your work wife, husband, siblings, college roommates, and the hilarious guy you sat next to on the flight to Cancun join you on your honeymoon. Hell I, to the no. Can I tell you, I read that today and I was like, well, that's easy. It's like uh, two dudes going off and having a good time. You know, not necessarily a sexual thing. Platonic buddies just doing a buddy moon kind of thing. I'm like, nope, it's not that at all. It's you get married and then people come with you on your honeymoon. Mm-hmm. Like, who does that? I think that, like, the cast of Friends would do that, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> like, no, I mean, you wouldn't take anybody on your honeymoon? Uh, no, I wouldn't, but that's not because... I like I would he would I, it would have been really cool to experience that with as many people as I could have but I just but I no nah, I just don't see it it just would have changed that experience totally and radically yeah. so yeah yeah I think beforehand I would have been open to it but now I'm sitting here post honeymoon and I'm like no nah, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want you, any of my bros you, there you don't want their names near that moment not near it I mean God bless them you love them there's nothing wrong with that but you want that to be you and her, and all those memories don't have an asterisk that Bob was there or John dropped by as well. That's what, that's what my memories are. It's me, her, and the homeless of Waikiki Beach. Yeah, there you go. It's perfect. <laughs> How about a coolcation? Coolcation. What, 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 what do you think a coolcation is? Come on down to the coolcation. Let's go to a coolcation. Let's go on a coolcation. A vacation to a cold region. That's it, dude. Yeah. It's, that's right. a, when I read this, I was like, oh, it's just a cool-ass vacation. It's like It has a bunch of moving parts. Maybe you're doing a, a rickshaw ride in the morning, and then some hiking, and then maybe a gondola in the afternoon. No, it is not. It's Iceland. It is you leaving somewhere like Florida 
and hauling ass to somewhere not like Florida at all. Just a colder climate. That's all it is. And I think people from Florida probably do the coolcations more than anybody. Well, one of my bucket list trips is to go sleep in the glass domes that they have in the woods of Norway to watch the northern lights. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, not same, bad. Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same dream. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> What's a destination dupe? The destination dupe what's is the what desti- my... What's the destination dupe? Oh. We're going there. We're going there. We're going there. You're at the airport. Guess what? Yeah. We're not going there. <laughs> That's not it. What do you think? Oh, uh, damn. That's what I thought it was. Deb, what do you think a destination dupe is? Stop swagger jacking my answer. <laughs> swagger jacking. See, swagger jacking like crazy. Stop jumping Stop that. swagger jacking my... <laughs> How many show titles? Yeah, yeah. Um, destination dupe, I'm going to say, is where you get to the destination and you were duped. You didn't get exactly what you that, what you wanted, what you thought. That's exactly what it says. It says, alternatives to locations that are notoriously overcrowded, overpriced, or overrun right. with influencers and vloggers. Oh. And one of my favorite vlogs or you know Instagram reels is it's that real versus uh, real versus promoted, and it goes to these very famous vacation like Instagrammable spots, and you see the you see the promotion photograph for it, and then there go there. And this is a real iPhone picture in real time, and it does not match. No, it does like not. a lot of them do not match. Um, I've had that vacation before. Let me see. I think this one's kind of easy. A divorcecation. Oh yeah. Yeah. I. I've, I Wait, do you go together on that? No, I've I partied with one of those. Oh, really? Ooh. With a divorcation? Yeah, dude. It was. It got ugly quick. I, why? I, why? Wait. Because you would be like, "All right, dude, you got divorced." But we we were partying with this guy, and then we ended up like hyping him up, and then we started chanting like bad things about his ex lover. We were like. We were just, it was like on a carnival cruise and we were, there was oh. like 20 of us chanting. No F- rules. F that hoe. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Well, we were trying cause he was all heartbroken and stuff. So he would be like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all, I'm just here to have drinks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it, okay. It says a newly single, <laughs> a newly single person's holiday that marks a recent decoupling. Uh, there you go. So that's a coupling. <laughs> how about what's a, a dry tripping? Dry tripping. That's a trip with no booze. That's a trip with no booze. That's a booze free oh. vacation. Okay. <laughs> what do you think it was? A, a rubbing hits of acid on the outside <laughs> of your jeans. <laughs> no, that's, that's a thing. No, no it's not. I, that's that's why a dry I, humping jacket. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was dry tripping. <laughs> Edification. <laughs> oh, an educational vacation. Yeah, you're learning a oh, new yeah, subject. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're oh, going skills. to the Smithsonian. Yeah, education. That's what it is, right? Uh, they use these in a sentence, and the, the sentence is kind of funny. Stanley was on a fermentation kick, so he booked an edification at Kimchi Academy in Seoul. <laughs> Nerd. I won't tell you family moon. Obviously, you know what a family moon is. Friendcation. Okay, here's one. What's gamping? This is a tough one. Gamping? What's gamping? It's So it's not glamping, like nope. glamorous camping. <laughs> no, what's gamping? So gamping. It's uh, camping with grandma. Camp, camping with Grandpa. Grammy. Hey, Pop Pop. Camping. That's a good guess, though. It's not it. Tell me another ghost oh, story. that's what I was going to guess. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Gamping is basically camping in someone's backyard. What? Yeah, yeah. So it says... Inst- what my brother and I did as a kid? Instead yeah. of doing, You could do that at your house. <laughs> instead, of, instead of a traditional <laughs> campground or site, gampers will pay the host a nominal <gasps> fee or perform a service for their hospitality. In other words... You could do that for your new homeowners. You could live in the in a tent in the backyard and just knock on the... They say if you're gamping... Can we that, rake your leaves today? That you would go up and you'd knock on the door and you go, hey, we would like to camp in your backyard, and in return for that, we'll weed your flower beds, we'll cut your yard, we'll do like some maintenance stuff around your property for the right to stay on your property, and apparently it's a thing. All right, well, there you have it. Gig tripping. Gig tripping. What's a gig trip? Uh, you you base a vacation off of some gigs. Like a comedy yeah, or a yeah, singing yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're cl- I, I did that. You're close, but it's it's actually, I didn't know this had the name like this because, I I mean, we I think, matter of fact, everybody in this room, I've done it, Jack has done it for sure, Ross has done it, you're the only one I don't know that has done a gig trip. 
Well, explain what a gig trip no, I mean, is. I mean, you, you, no, no, no shot? You, we did. We what? said it's a trip that you plan around a oh, comedy gig or a singing engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's the next generation of deadheads. In other words, gig tripping is, is you base a trip uh-huh. on a show. In other words, like I'm doing to go up to see Shane Gillis. Uh, that's a gig trip. Like my wife have been, and I have been gig tripping for like five years now. Finding a concert you like in a city you want to go to and use that as the catalyst to go to that area. The only gig trip I have coming up is Taylor Swift, and I'm not even the Swifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, and unfortunately for my birthday trips, I Red Rocks is closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and have you ever done a? Have you ever traveled specifically to see a show like that? Um, or a show at all? I want to say yeah, I did. It was uh, my first time going to Seattle. I went with a friend, and it was to go to Peter Gabriel's World Music oh, Festival. Oh damn, that sounds awesome! Ooh. Oh, it was one hippy dippy oh, trippy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I loved it. Oh yeah, she uh, her idea of camping was a Hilton. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's not so bad. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, a mini moon. Honeymoon, honeymoon. that can only right. be like a weekend. A, weekend. Right. Yeah, a yeah. little bite sized honeymoon is what they say. So I got like a long weekend honeymoon, and a lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are getting married, and they go on like a three day like mini moon to, and then they go on their big trip when it works out best for them for timing and money and stuff like that. But they want to get the wedding like not out of the way, but they want to do the wedding a certain time of year. But maybe they don't want to travel that time of year. Uh, AKA the wedding costs as much as the honeymoon, and we can't do both at the same time. All right, exactly. <laughs> I still have no idea how I paid for all of that. <laughs> no idea. No, no, no Thank- clue how I'm not just drowning in debt for my wedding two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, you did a good job paying it off. You saved a bunch of money. You worked what? your ass off for like a year and a half saving yeah. up for that, dude. Oh. Reward credit cards. It's because you planned, dummy. Already two years? Yeah, yeah, two years. Yeah, yeah, I mean, dummy. This September. Yeah, this, yeah, no. A year and a half. Uh, October. Uh, October, my bad. 22nd, Sorry. Jim. October, tw- uh, that's right, October 22 of 2022. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So easy. Um, all right, here's you one. You watched a game at my wedding on your phone. You did do that. You watched the Yankees I game. watched it during the delay. How rude to have a delay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so curb your enthusiasm, dude. He's Richard good, Lewis dude. just died, Jack. <laughs> too you are, soon. Too soon. You are welcome for entertaining myself, and I removed you from that responsibility. Yeah. What do you mean? The delay was, <laughs> it was entertainment. I, we were sitting there. I'll that, never, that's I, true, too. We were sitting there because we were in the same row with Jack, unfortunately. And we were sitting there, and my wife goes, <laughs> my wife just goes, Jack is watching a GD baseball game. <laughs> the Yankees were And I playing. said, I It said, was a playoff game. I said, it's the Yankees. Leave him alone. She goes, we're at a wedding. And I'm like, he doesn't understand. He's she a goes, dude. That's what dudes do at weddings. She goes, is he like this all the time? I'm like, no, usually it's worse. <laughs> usually it's way worse. All I right. preferred watching the people run around. and. Yeah, here's a tough one for you. What is set jetting? Set jetting. Yeah, so usually, you know, jet setting. What is set jetting? You walk up to a computer. You set... All of the settings, and then you just dip. <laughs> this is so stupid. Set jetting, Jack. What do you think? That's set jetting. That's exactly is? what I was this, gonna say. Yo, this come is on now. this <laughs> is actually the most interesting one. Set this is the jetting. most interesting one. Set jetting. So jet setting is going from place to place. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, so, so hold this on. This is from going you to have place it. to place. No one's done this. I don't. I don't think anyone on the show has done this specifically. That we have. We've done this for this. I don't think we've done it. I don't think anybody on the show has set jet before. Set jet. What's a set jetting? Jet set radio. And by the way, we take a group of people to one place. Okay, not it, but I'll give you I'll give you a hint. Okay. All right. There was a television show that was on the air about eight years ago, and it was considered one of the best shows that ever was. And it spurned an entire industry from this show. Oh, are you talking about Twilight? The movies are like a. Uh, set jetting is where you go oh. out to like Forks, Washington to go see where the Twilight That's movies exactly were That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Set jetting is choosing a destination of a movie or TV show that I, you love. I always wanted to go to Forks. And you fly to that area to check out that area. And the show I was talking about is Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. when, you, when you go to New Mexico now, or when we went about five years ago, you couldn't move without a tour truck going around telling people about all the filming sites for Breaking Bad. It was a gigantic business. There must have been at least four companies doing tours just to take you to Breaking Bad filming sites. But we've got meth trailers here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, Jack and I did a little of this when we were in L.A. Remember when we drove around and and uh, like we found the Beverly Hills Hotel? We tried to find the, the area where they filmed that opening scene of Beverly Hills Cop. 
It's yes. that, that stretch in Beverly Hills with the where the palm trees. We, I had, would, we had a map of the movie Star yeah, Holmes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that when he accosted uh, Willem Dafoe? That was when I did that. Yeah, um, didn't you give him like a honk or something? No, I didn't give him a honk. He what are you yelled, talking about? I, I thought that's how the story went. No, he screamed, him. hey. I thought you went, hey, tug, tug. No, I said, <laughs> yelled out. I'm like, I went, holy S, you're Willem Dafoe. Pause. I loved you in that vampire movie. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> that which, is what he said. To which he smiled and took a dead right and disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Driving a 1995 Corolla with, with the windows rolled down and a wife beater. And I will say that I've been set jetting because one of the things that Chris and I enjoyed the most in Savannah was trying to figure out exactly where the shots were for Forrest Gump. Really? Yeah, because the scene where he's sitting on the park, park bench with the box of chocolates. That's exactly right. Is in one of those parks in Savannah. I'll be Although damned. they then, move the bench. Well, well, you had to. Yeah. People kept trying to steal it. Yeah. And didn't you do it as well for, uh, well, or didn't you do, is it Good and Evil? Or Good and Evil? Yeah, Midnight oh. in the Garden of good, good and Evil, yes. The movie and the book. Yeah, we read the book and watched the movie before we went. Yeah, yeah. and then they went yeah. set jetting. Yeah. That's actually kind of, that's kind of cool, both of you guys. I've yeah. not done this. Oh, well, you have to get on board. Yeah, I gotta do. Oh, those are kind of fun. Then the last one was Voluntourism. Oh, yeah, oh, that's okay. another there one I want to do. So yeah. one of my favorite set jetting, jet sets, whatever it's called. Is uh, at Universal. I really like knowing that there is a Creed music video that was filmed. I believe right outside of Mel's diner. And uh, every now and then, man, I'll just watch that music video. It makes me <laughs> laugh so hard. Yeah. Well, didn't they film a Beyonce? The one where they flooded the entire area at Universal to create that. Um, what is the one where she talks about having hot sauce? <laughs> what? Oh, come on, man. Uh, uh, surfboard. I don't know. I don't what was know. that? Uh, the song with surfboard and uh, no, with it hot wasn't sauce. Surfboard. It was Beyonce, a hot sauce on a surfboard. So, Beyonce did a song where they, they they like flooded an area, and it's it looks like she's flooded, and it, I think it's supposed to be representing New Orleans. But um, anyway, I remember I thought that was shot out there as well. Yeah, and there's been a lot of weird movies filmed. I think actually third time, guys. If you've been what, listening, <laughs> no, don't you say it. I gotta say it. I'm pretty sure a lot of Earnest movies yeah, were well, filmed here in Orleans. A couple of them they were. were yeah. <laughs> Two Earnest movies. Uh, Water, Water Boy. Boy. That's right. Uh, one of the lethal weapons, the third one. Yeah, Parenthood. That's right. They they blew up the city hall. City hall. Yeah, exactly. Parenthood was shot there in College Park. I uh, was an I identity to... thief. Wasn't any of that filmed here in Central Florida? I don't know if that was or not. I don't I think, think so. I think yeah, Carlos was in it, but I think he had to go up to Atlanta for it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, I remember the Parenthood being shot here because they used the racetrack out in Bithlow. Oh, um, uh, and then I remember driving to that scene. We could, if there's a scene in Parenthood with Jason Robards is on the front porch with that kid and they're playing with a car, right? I was I was sitting on the edge of the road eating barbecue, watching them film that scene. Wow, across the street because you could pull right up to the set. Penultimate film that was filmed right here in Central Florida. Larry the Cable Guy, health inspector. Oh, yeah, yeah. My best friend was so proud that he wiped his butt with her hand towel. <laughs> this fish is raw. <laughs> they filmed it in her house. Did they really? Yeah, her oh. house was the house of his girlfriend. Man, if you ever have Hollywood take over your house. Yeah, they re they completely repainted and everything. Oh, they, they do. They, they interviewed the lady who owned the house after they did the Parenthood movie. And she's like, they, they, they and they paid them. They paid them a certain amount of money to, to move out, but to take the house back to how it was before oh. they before they uh, they did the thing. But it's crazy, the stuff that they oh, do. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't recognize her house when they filmed it, but it was her house again when they yep. were done, but it was crazy. That's exactly what they did to this one. They shut it down for about a week. They went in. They did all their stuff to it. And then afterwards, the Sentinel, I believe, did an interview with her, and they said, yeah, they provided her the money to take it all back to uh, to how it was before the, the filming. It's just hard to answer that door of, I'm a Hollywood scout and you're home and we're perfect for this movie. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, okay. See ya. Yeah, like two grand a day. You're like, come on in. Exactly. All right, 407 916 1041. Let's load them up for last call. Four lines are open. That's 407 916 1041. Little callback, little joke, something fun. Make us laugh. It's your turn to do the show. Four lines open. Grab one now. 407 916 1041. Last call is next on the Jim Colbert Show. Got something to say? Monkweed every day. Thank you, Barney. Call now, 407 916 1041. Last call, sponsored by Life Imaging FLA. Now open. Call pound 250 keyword free heart scan. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com.
I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. The weekend looks a bit more wet as we are going to see chances of showers and thunderstorms into the afternoons. For this evening, an isolated shower with a possibility of rain overnight, but likely dry with a low around 65 degrees. Saturday, high of 80 degrees with scattered afternoon showers and storms. And we repeat the forecast again for Sunday with a high near 80 degrees. Unsettled weather continues into next week. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ian Cassette. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Now, during Staples Citathon, you can save up to $180 on select chairs, desk chairs, computer chairs, even gaming chairs. In store only, offer ends 3 2. See Associates for details. Stop by Staples today and grab a seat. Inflation is running high, and nobody does know when it's going to level out, but you can buy your windows and doors at FAS Windows and Doors right now and lock in your price. They have the largest window and door showroom in all of Central Florida, 38 unique windows on display ready for you to operate, and they are unique. They're awesome, guys, and they're all built with impact-resistant glass to give you security, noise reduction, and maximum efficiency. I've had two homes with FAS Windows and Doors. Jack's put them in his house, and the reason why is because they are great. Not to mention they have a full selection of windows and doors that are hurricane resistant uh, as always they give you plenty of estimates and they always give you tons of options and it's always free all products have a lifetime warranty and if you act right now rebates of $55 per window and $95 per door no money down no interest no payments for 12 months financing is available their showroom is easy to find Fairbanks and I4 slide in pick out the windows you love have them installed and your house is going to be way different it's going to be so quiet it's going to be safer your AC will work less which means it'll last longer and of course your power bills will drop as well hop on board book your appointment see what these guys can do for you it's FASWD.com Daytona Bike Week is back March 1st through the 10th, and there's no better place to celebrate than at the iconic Daytona International Speedway. Home to the area's largest motorcycle marketplace with top manufacturer displays, top-of-the-line gear, custom bikes, and more. Plus, free test rides on Progressive Demo Road and all the excitement of Harley-Davidson Thunder Alley. It all culminates Saturday, March 9th with America's most historic motorcycle race, the Daytona 200. Don't miss out. Daytona International Speedway is the place to celebrate Bike Week. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. It's the Marketer's Report. Today, Kate Cronin, Chief Brand Officer of Moderna, tells us about the advantages the speed of audio production affords their growing tech company. At Moderna, we have a mindset saying that we pivot fearlessly. And I think with audio, you can pivot fearlessly. You can go where the news is and bring in content that perhaps you didn't have a few weeks earlier. It's less six months in advance or three months in advance when you do a TBC. You're able to create really nimble content, which I think in this day and age, and particularly at Moderna, where we have new information coming out on a regular basis, being able to feed that information to the audio format makes being nimble and pivoting easy. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com.
This is Michael David from Seattle. I'm 51 years old, and six months ago, I started taking Andro 400 to increase my testosterone. Since then, I've lost 35 pounds of fat, and my waist went from size 38 to size 32. I have more energy, and I look and feel 20 years younger. And now, my wife tells me I have to take Andro 400. Hi, this is Ron Johnson from Utah. After 10 weeks of taking Andro 400, I lost 13 pounds, and my waist went from 36 to 33. That was eight years ago. I continue to take Andro 400 and I've maintained my weight at 172. Gained muscle and energy. I'm 63 now and feel better than I have in 30 years. Andro 400, the natural way to increase testosterone, lose belly fat, gain energy, and feel great. Try Andro 400, the safe, effective, affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like The Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Just dial pound law. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Don't miss the Players' Championship, March 12th through 17th in Ponta Vedra Beach. Invite your friends and family to enjoy the ultimate fan experience with front row access to the PGA Tour's best players at the iconic stadium course. Tickets are on sale now at theplayers.com. Torres on his left foot shoots. He scores! Orlando City is on the road next weekend as the Lions travel south to take on rival Inter-Miami on Saturday, March 2nd at 4.30 p.m. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. And the Lions return home on Saturday, March 9th at 7.30, taking on Minnesota United, presented by Dex Imaging. The match will be a celebration of our 10th season in Major League Soccer. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com or tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Hey guys, how's everything going? Brand new listener. Um, I was uh, turned on to your show from listening to BK Man the Zone. So, just thought you guys are hilarious. Checked your podcast out and now I'm listening to you live. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys buddy. are bringing me a lot of smiles and uh, I'll continue to listen and spread the word thank you dude have a good weekend thank you everybody follow that guy's directive david he, he's talking to the talkbacks again that's all right everybody there's nothing we can do Jeff. Yeah, Jim's everybody. talk back talk back <laughs> <laughs> everybody follow that guy's directive tell everybody you know about the show thanks buddy i appreciate that i have to thank brandon for that that's nice yeah Thanks for sending us your listener. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. All it's, right, for it's us. It's how to make your car Central Floridian. <laughs> yeah, is by it is. putting real yeah. radio on. God, for years, um, when I was with the Monsters, we would tell everybody that worked at rental car places yeah, and places like that, valets, to automatically change the station to Real Radio 104.1 so when people got in, they would be forced to listen to at least a little of it. <laughs> I, I, I don't care what city I'm in. I make, before I return a car, every Always, station. Every station. Good for you. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. We do have two lines open. If you want to grab one of those for last call, 407-916-1041. Remember, short and sweet, make it fun. We love to laugh as well. Make us laugh, a little joke, something good. Just do that, 407-916-1041. couple lines open, grab those now, and we'll get the last call here in a second. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb, Jack, and Ross are here as well. Any plans for the weekend, guys? Anything big? Dude. A lot of plans. Really? My wife is busy this weekend. She's uh, she's hanging out with a friend this weekend almost all weekend long. I see a love connection. Yeah, we're going out tonight. Yeah. Ross and I are stepping out tonight. Yeah, yeah. A little, little drink, a little bird. A little, a little drinky poo. A little drink. A little drinky poo. But tomorrow I'm super excited because I uh, this is kind of like sports haven, heaven for me. I got a Liverpool game on at 10 a.m. I'm probably going to then slip into a movie theater, see Dune 2, which is getting some of the best reviews I've seen a movie get in years. That's awesome. Uh, and then after that, 4 o'clock, boom, Orlando City versus Fort Lauderdale. There you go. Did you see the text earlier that said that Dune 2 ripped off one of your brilliant million-dollar ideas? Which was what? Pretzel sticks? Daytime fireworks. 
Oh, wow. They took daytime fireworks. Man, I knew I was on to something. Class action <laughs> lawsuit. I know. I'll see you, Dennis Villain to Wiven. Yeah, get Glenn Clausman yeah. on that. I want to see you come in with that Dune 2 popcorn bucket. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did read something, you know, it was Oscar season. I did read uh, that they think that Oppenheimer would be the movie. They think that's going to be the movie that really kind of um, that kind of propels the movie world back in. They said that the movie business needed Oppenheimer as much as they needed any movie. Uh, like a good serious movie with a good director and actors that are that are respected to kind of go out and do quite well, uh, and they think that it's going to do really well. H- have you seen it yet? No. The only thing oh. more explosive than the actual bomb in the movie are the acting yeah. performances. Uh-huh. They're amazing. I, I, it's I on mean, Peacock. Right? Uh, yeah. Killian Murphy. Give him everything. Robert so Downey good. Jr. Give him yeah, everything. I think they're both going to win. I remember the first time yeah. I saw Killian Murphy, who was like the he was the Scarecrow in one of the Batman movies. I'm like, wow, even that little bitty role he killed so well. All right. How about this? He was the lead in 28 Days Later. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh, right. wow. That's him. All right, Deb, who do we have to thank today? We want to thank Corona Cigar Company, Fayez Cara, the restaurant critic for the Orlando Weekly, Candace Rich with her rich tips, and she along with Sam Bowen for running our YouTube chat. Absolutely. Jack, question of the day? Do you read the nutritional values of food before you buy it? Uh, 60% say no. Uh, 53% say yes. <laughs> <laughs> stand up, Good Ross. job, Jack. Yes, yeah, stand up. At the end of this month, March 30th, Ocala, Marion Theater, where to get tickets, rosscomedy.com. There you go. Can't lose. Let's get to it. Let's do last call. Sue, last call. Hey, guys. Hey, Sue. Hey, my friends. Uh, apparently, I can add Jet Setting Gig Mooner to my resume. Red Rocks twice, Paul Simon, String Team's Incident. And boys and girls, in 2007, I went to Chicago for Lollapalooza, and I bought my you know, souvenir T-shirt. And do you know what the very last name is on that shirt? What's that? Lady Gaga. Oh, wow. The very last name. Wow, how cool and is I that? I that shirt so I can remember the year. I know, right? Yeah, it's very cool. Gig Mooner. Thanks, Sue. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it very you, much. Sue. Have a good weekend. Here we go. Party Mom, last call. Hello. Hello, last Party call. Mom. That's Mike Larson. That's Mar- Mike Larson. That's Mike, my last bag. call. <laughs> hey, uh, okay, I'll fill in here. Monday through Thursday, I go G rated. Because I've been in trouble before. Fridays are a roller coaster. Seat belt needed ride. Let's go. Mike the bu- the legend, Buzzer Larson here. Jimmy, what's the difference between light and hard? I don't know, buddy. What is it? <laughs> I can sleep with a light on. No, oh, come on. Now. God almighty. God almighty. Jose, last call. Hey, Jimmy, I got a question. It's Jose. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey, man, I just became a member of Corona Cigar Company. What is, like, your top three best flavors? Bro? Oh, my God, dude, you're killing me. Email them. A 20-acre farm from <laughs> those guys is amazing. Uh, believe it or not, uh, a cigar called The Aging Room, which we're going to have a little bit later this month, is amazing. Okay. And they get a brand-new one out. Oh, God, I can't remember, buddy. Cielo. I'm sorry. Cielo. That's a good one, too. Party Mom, take us home. Hurry. Last call. So the population of Ireland's capital city is really growing. It's actually doubling. Oh. oh. Get out of here. Thanks, party mom. The perfect joke awesome. to send us off. Let's get Yay. out of here. On behalf of Deb, Jack, and Ross, I am Jim. We follow the new Chucky. They follow the monsters in the morning after us. It's Tom and Dan with the corporate time. What the hell's Angel listening to? Bungalow or in the bus. And, of course, real music weekends all weekend long. Leaning in to Captain's Log Radio, 8 o'clock on Sunday mornings with our very own Jack Bradshaw. And, of course, that goes right into Sunday morning coming down with the legend Joseph Martins. We'll see you at 3 on Monday for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Until then. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Happy Friday. Bye. A corporate time with Tom and Dan is.